All right. Uh, <laughs> well, we're back. We're back at the stop and chat with our boy Beagle. Beagle yeah. is in the house. Returning <laughs> oh. guest. Damn, two time, two time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have yeah, an official yeah. intro for this show, but you know what? It will, it will come. You know, all we got to do is just keep keep it moving. You know, yeah. but we don't need an intro when we got Beagle in the house. We can do an outro. Beagle just nailed it right there, dude. That was awesome. Chris, my man, thanks. I love it, bro. I love it. How you how you living, dude? I've been good, man. Um. Pretty much, you know, same old, like, just filming a lot, skating mm-hmm. myself maybe once a week or something. And um, um, That's been cool. doing a lot more, like, editing lately. A little more, like, homework these days, but still hitting the streets maybe, like, at least three days a week. Well, I mean, I know that the Baker 4, that was the main priority, right? That mm. came out already. Yeah. It was a huge success. Yeah. Big hit. Congrats. You know? Thanks, man. HD, <laughs> HD. I guarantee guarantee you're going to, no, you're going to like it. I guarantee it. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way you look. That was the motto. You're going to like the way it looks. You're going to like the way it looks. I guarantee it. Yep. <laughs> no, but that turned out great. I mean, that was, uh, yep. man, years in the making. I mean, Jesus, right? And it then, was, but man. now yeah, are you just out, are you out there just filming now or what do we got the the shrimp blunt video the little shake that's jump right. A, okay. that's right yeah shane shane sprinkled everybody a little bit about the shrimp blunt yeah the new the new shake jump video um last time we put out shake jump video it was called the skate tank yep. back in 2014 yep and before that it was uh chicken bone but now it's on. Is, oh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be. Yeah, chicken bone now is on. <laughs> and now it's on again with the shrimp blunt uh, shrimp. coming out early next year if all goes well. It's so funny to think about blunt. how long this shit. I mean, like, what did you say, 2014? Yeah, skate 2014 tank. Skate tank. Yeah, six years ago. That's yeah, that's crazy. crazy. It is, man. Yeah. No shit. Time flies when you're having fun, man. Fucking <laughs> going out and skating every day, filming. Man, you know it. Yeah. My goal in life right now, Beagle, is to get a clip in Shrimp Blunt. Fuck, you got it, dog. <laughs> that's, my, <laughs> that's my goal in life. That'd be tight. Yeah. Dude. One clip and shake in in Shrimp Blunt. Oh, super down, super down with that. Dude. I don't know, Beagle, when the bail gun camera comes out. I don't know, dude. What the, is he out there I'll, with you at the curbs? No, Beagle. He, you came one time. You were with you the whole crew. Time? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I seen you guys in action for the first sick. time out there. Venice Slap, he's so cool, man. Dude, you got to come so, out more often. I Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm slowly learning slappies. I'm like late in the game, in the slappy game for sure. Hey, I'm with you, bro. I'm, I'm with you too. Totally I, know with Kelly, you. I know, Kelly. I know you're with me, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, you got to just have like confidence and just jam that shit in there, man. Like, I, I seen the know. clip, though. You can't hesitate. You can't hesitate with it. I seen the clip. Well, the, the switch crew. You got a little aggressive. You gotta get that's the key. You gotta be so aggressive with your slappies. <laughs> yeah, man. Aggressive you fucking. Man. But hey Roger, you're on another level, man. I've seen a lot of magic. A lot of crazy variations. Just up there having fun. Dude, cr- hey, they they got another thing coming when they see this bail gun video. <laughs> <laughs> guys, yeah. Got it clear. Yeah, shit. Yeah. We, we just need a filmer because our filmer, Raj, is skating. skating. So we <laughs> you can't film. True. Uh, I'm gonna. Ma- I'll make it out there one Wednesday a month. I'm down. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. One Wednesday. That's one Wednesday all, a listen, month. if so that's all we can get, practice. Get it. Get it. Get your practice in and everything, and then I'll. I'll. I'll be out there. Right. Okay. We'll listen. If, Put it on the calendar. If one time a month is all we could get out of Beagle, we will take that. Yep. Hundred percent. Thanks, man. The last Wednesday of the month, I'm down. <laughs> last Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yep. of the month. No, but yeah. it's awesome, man. I mean, uh, it's, you're staying busy. You got the listen. Sh- shrimp blunt that's you know that's a given right but now you got this hijinks network that's killing, killing it. it i love thanks, it guys. hey thanks yeah. for the towels thanks for all way. your support too man oh where are the, oh, yeah, thanks for we the didn't the even towels, put a towel man. out raj yeah, raj brings his towel to the beach every day he yeah. puts it down on the curb mark my territory yeah. <laughs> yes i love that towel man the the terminator yep judgment day <laughs> Dude, we got a new one. commercial. Uh, we got a new commercial coming out uh, for that that graphic. You're gonna love it, man. Oh, really? Uh, it's gonna air tonight on uh, tonight's uh, Beagle Tapes episode. Uh, but you'll see it on Instagram. But there's some gnarly. We got Shrimp Daddy putting together some some gnarly uh, Terminator oh, movie. Oh, sick! 
I wait, Thanks, I have, I've been waiting for the day Shrimp Daddy does something with me, yeah. but he never. Dude, I don't know. That guy's a slam. genius, man. I He's a genius. Work. Got Magical, Will Smith man. retweet, uh, reposting his shit and stuff like that. It's amazing. Yeah, fucking Spielberg magic shit, man. That guy's awesome. So give us a breakdown of the Hijinks Network because you have a premiere, just like we have a premiere with our Experience Show. We have a premiere every Wednesday night at seven p.m. and you watch live with everybody else. You can't re. Oh, you can't fast forward it when you're when it's playing. You're just watching with everybody that's online. And you guys are doing the same thing now. You guys got the premieres every Thursday nights at eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah man. I love that. Yeah, so, thanks. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, ever, ever since we started, um, I think, so basically what Hijinks Net is, is basically I had my own uh, personal YouTube channel for the mm -hmm. last few years. I didn't have much on it. Like I, I, I put that sponsor tape up that yep. I talked about the last interview. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. I put I put some like uh, DJ mixes or just kind of random shit on there. But um, yeah, it really all came down to, to Herman. Brian Herman really uh, having this this idea. He really wanted to help me out. You know, mm -hmm. he, he wanted to uh, just start releasing uh, episodes of my old tapes that I filmed. You know, like just, archive it all too. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude. exactly. I've been ready, you know, I've been ready this whole time. So that it, it helps a lot. Like I, I, I'm all prepared for it, but I never got like the ball rolling myself, you know, mm -hmm. always just working on other, other things, but Herm really got the ball rolling, you know? And, uh, he like, I gave him a lot of tapes and he would go through the tapes himself. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, he actually edited the first maybe, uh, five episodes Oh, I damn. Sick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he, he edited on his, uh, the iMovie on his uh, laptop <laughs> in the <laughs> desert. Shit. Right, yeah, right. dude. And uh, so he basically really got the ball rolling. But anyway, it's more than just the, the, the tapes. You know, it's like the, the Beagle tapes are episodes, you know, every week they come out every mm -hmm. Thursday, 8 o'clock. But that's like a, a good, like, a, like, backbone for the whole thing. Okay. But we basically changed my old YouTube channel into a new name. You know, we call it hijinks net. Right. Cause that way, not only is it whatever Beagle tapes or, you know, other things, but um, we want it just to be like a, essentially a, a new platform with all types of skating and, and like just hijinks stuff, funny things, <laughs> you know, like so far other than the Beagle tapes, we put out the uh, CJ, Yep. Uh, the Cyril Jackson. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Amazing. Thanks, man. So what we want to do is put out like more parts like that and just all types of just random shit. Just kind of, uh, we, we just been brainstorming, you know, like we want to put out a bunch of different things, but for now the steady, uh, content is the Beagle tapes, which is cool. Cause it, it dates back from anywhere from, uh, my whole tape collection is 1999. <sighs> Uh, uh, 2015. Damn. <laughs> yes. So yeah, 16 wow. years. Holy but it's shit. yeah, it's it's 25 tapes or no, 2,500 tapes I have. Oh, oh wow. 20, you counted them. Yeah, it's 2,500. Yeah, it might be a little bit more. But yeah, Holy how the tapes shit. go, you know, I I basically you know before uh, uh, like basically back to 99, I just numbered the tapes uh, zero to. Uh, oh, okay. you know, a hundred and 200, you know, just gotcha. numbers. Yeah. And yeah. those, I know that there's like 250 of those old ass tapes. And then, um, back in like 2002 or something, I got a little more, uh, structured and I started labeling tapes, um, a one through a 100 and then B one through B 100. And so now my collection of tapes, it's, it's at like V three or something. Oh my God. So, if you think about it, I mean, whatever, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, <laughs> I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. That's 2,200 <laughs> plus the 50. So, uh, and then, and then 2,200 plus the 250 before. So sure. 2,500 tapes. Twenty-five. God. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. It, it seems like that would take a whole army to go through. I mean, yeah, well, but luckily, you know, I got all these fucking uh, log, log books from back in the mm. day. So many binders. I actually have them right here because I thought you guys might want to see them or something. Yes, yeah. yes. But yeah, but but these are like, uh, these are the fucking what books. What the? Fuck? Yeah, yeah, man. Look at that shit. 
That just so, uh, it's bringing me back to high to, school days yeah, when I didn't even. Yeah. Oh, well, wait a minute. School. So what's in there? You 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 say like oh at so, twenty seven twenty two B Herm did a hard flip yeah, down to seven. Straight up, it's all wow. written down. Like everything is just you could see it on paper. You could almost watch it on paper. Okay. The the footage, you know. But <laughs> right. if you guys want for fun, all three of you guys see see who could pick the most exciting tape out of you three. Oh, give me a number, any any tape, whatever. From I got the books here. I'll tell you any fucking tape oh. from. Okay, what? so wait, so v, so okay, yeah. wait, yeah. wait, wait. So, yeah. but 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 there's also so there's one through two hundred fifty, yeah, right? And then there's the exactly. alphabet yeah. plus the number one through a hundred to V to to V. Whatever exactly. So you know it okay. goes like in a timeline. If you go for A or C, it's like earlier in the right. game. And then V's more recent. Could you give, do we, do we need a little, like, what would, would A or B be like Baker 2 or something? Like, what would, uh, what is that? Oh, no, no. Okay, check it out. Um, Baker, uh, Baker 2G to like 2002 is the, the numbers. The numbers. The, the 100, 140, 250. Okay. And then uh, A starts in like 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, so... That'll be like A will be like the beginning of filming for like Baker three. Okay, Baker three. Baker has yeah. a death wish and all that stuff. Yeah, that would be that would be like uh, F or Damn. G or something. Yeah. W X Y Z. That W X Y Z. That's shrimp blunt. Pretty much, but I'll, I think we're gonna be filming HD. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. <laughs> so yeah, okay. but I still have. Yeah, I still got some. Uh, I still got the VX and I got tapes. So. Whenever the, you know, the projects come, we, we film VX. Oh, no, I like this game. So I'm going to guess, I'm just going to throw one out there. I'm going to say uh, 209. 209. 209. <laughs> I like that. Hey, I like that number, man. 209. Let's, Let's see, see what's, what and now how are you going to find them in all those books? I mean, they're all, uh, they're in order. Okay. You, know? <laughs> okay. you got your shit together. I like it. Yeah. This is the awesome. Old, Thanks, guys. That's like Dude. that's like Beagle's bi Bible right there. It is fucking. It is a Bible. Beagle's sure. Beagle's Bible. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's see. see. What we got two two oh nine. Two oh nine. Yeah, two oh nine. See what we got right here. Okay, on this tape, starts off, and this is how it's labeled. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's got the, it's got it. the, the time code, the uh, who, what, where, basically. Right. It's a little, little Excel what? spreadsheet right there. Go yeah. Ahead. So, you, so <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, you picked this? It's in Venice. Oh, That's what? Cool. Man, to be right there, man. Oh. So, uh, yeah, it starts off, what? Uh, beach cops on quads by ledge. Who, Lenosi, where, uh, Venice. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Uh, this it says jacked with the exclamation mark uh nolly front side nose crazy spaz out that must be lenosi <laughs> doing a nolly front nose and i don't know what happened to him or what but the, the boy must have shoot out or he landed on it okay um crazy skate bum with <laughs> lenosi okay that sounds, <laughs> that sounds like venice beach yeah uh, totally um black guy with orange hair <laughs> who <laughs> Shit, crunchy black. It must have looked like one of my favorite rappers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Andrew, uh, uh, long lens, nolly, front side heel flip, nine stair, Belmont High School. Oh, oh sick. Long lens. I don't even remember him doing that. Yeah, Belmont High School in LA, nolly front heel. Wow. Wow, sick. crazy. Uh, oh, Mule, which is Ellington, uh, does a kickflip nose slide on the bump to ledge outside what? of Belmont High School. Which I, is not there anymore. I oh, remember yeah. that. I remember, yeah, that the thing was tall. Front side for regular. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. front side for regular. Yeah, kick from nose slide, Ellington. Uh, uh, bump to ledge. Lenosi did nolly backside grind. That's oh, pretty crazy. Damn. Nolly backside grind. That. What? Yeah, uh, Andrew Switch crooked it. That's fucking sick. I remember that. Dude, imagine that session going down. Dude, that'd be so yeah. dope. Wow. This is. I remember that was filmed with the TRV 900. You know. It's, Okay. A while ago. So yeah, this must have been like I feel like two thousand one or something. But hmm. um Knox backside flip attempts at, at a sign in Laguna. Oh some what? sign in Laguna, Kelly. I don't know what's yeah, that, what's that Kelly, sign in sign Laguna. In Laguna. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That's crazy. But uh yeah, Knox that's attempts funny. 
You always tried a lot of shit. You didn't land too too much shit, Knox, but, but I'm sure it's funny. <laughs> Dude, I like this game. Uh, this is awesome. All right, this cool. Is a good All right, game. so that's a solid tape, uh, Chris. Solid, uh, solid tape. Kelly, you got a number? Yeah, I was thinking because my initial is K and then heart for oh, H is go. eight. If you're doing that, like the number in the alphabet, it's eight. So K8. K8. Oh, K8. Oh, I like that. Hey, good thinking. All right, cool. All right. It's a blank tape. <laughs> <laughs> just one blank tape. Just a blank middle. tape. <laughs> the old shake junk folder here. Yeah. Uh, shrimp right. blunt, shrimp blunt. Shrimp blunt. blunt. All right. K A H I J K. This is so sick, man. I love right. it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Okay. K 8. I love that not only were you writing skate tricks down, but you're writing down all the fucked up shit that's happening around <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, incredible. Because, I mean, yeah, when you accumulate so much hijinks, you know, you're not going to remember all of it. Well, that's the thing. is like we help. always wonder how does Beagle capture all this weird shit going on? I know, l- 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 all this time he's had a log book. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, beautiful life, Venice. man. Yeah, in Venice, um, too. Okay, so, Kelly, this, this tape is on a goat tour uh so this is a tour with the band mm. i think it it must have been um um like a altamont uh goat tour 2009 oh, okay. so so it starts off there's a a, a ditch gap oh here's how it looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> i love it oh uh, wow sick. dude sick all right so uh long lens andrew kickflips a ditch gap in texas spanky does an early grab backside 180 Slashed us an ollie. Oh, I remember this shit. This shit's gnarly. It's a gnarly, uh, like huge hip, like in a ditch in, in Texas. Okay. It's fucking gnarly. Whoa. This Early is grab. Hey, dude, I'm going to write this down. Actually, we got to uh, re- release this tape. Is that slash ollie? <laughs> Crazy. K O 8. Oh, shit. All right, word. Yeah. So, uh, oh my God, there's a fucking damn, uh, Kelly, you might have won, man. This is, um, this is in Austin. There's a gnarly ass rail. It's like a 20 stair fucking rail. It's green. It's front side for Goofy. And there's a drop on the other side. And they call it the Green Goblin. The locals in Austin call it the Green Goblin. So Figgy grinds the Green Goblin. It's legendary. And then then, uh, Slash... Slash rolling weed with Texas girls in okay. Austin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's like, there's a high rail that Andrew fronts that flips over. Mm. There's a goat show on the roof of a, of a skate shop in Austin. Damn, that's crazy. And we were super hungover. It was like early in the morning, like 10 in the morning. <laughs> Me and oh, Shane, shit. Spanky, Andrew, Tiba all playing a, a rock concert on the top of a, a skate shop roof. It no, was no so hot. Hungover as fuck. It was no comply. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Damn. This is, and then at the very last, uh, the very last uh, thing, uh, Beagle fried face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on the roof fried or something. Who knows? Oh my God. Anyway, Kelly, uh, that's a good pick. Man. That's a good oh, pick, awesome, Kelly. Dude. Good, Raj, you got to release. You got to release that. Raj one is too, all man. about numbers, bro. So let's see if his little Six. numbers. Uh, Six. Six. Nine. What is it? All right, F9. Let's tie F9. How did, how did you not choose 69? F is the sixth letter in the alphabet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, stick. Respect. He's been thinking about that for a while. All right, so F9. F9, a.k.a. 69. All right, all right. Okay, damn. Shit. Oh, wow. Damn, this is legendary, uh, Roger. Okay, here's a glimpse at it. Oh, wow. That's a lot of shit on that tape. Damn, Antoine. Yeah, people, I'll read it here. Okay. Uh, and the shit that's highlighted, that just means that I, I like captured it in the, uh, in the program, like uh, oh. the final cutter. It's like, it's been in the hard drive. Yeah. If it's uh, tra- been transferred, transferred it. Yeah. Um, All okay. Right. Uh, t- Terry motivated by Duffy. Oh, 12. He must've been shouting out Duffy, what, what he's trying to trick, but okay. uh, Terry, Terry runs downstairs. Antoine, Nolly, no slide. The Brea 12 rail. Oh, when, uh, yeah, yeah. When they had a, a rail in the middle when the rail existed. Yep. Yeah, and I remember Terry, that. Yeah. Uh, Terry backside salad grind, and then he half cap board slides it. Damn. That was sick. I think that was in Baker as a Death Wish. But, uh, Did he backside salad grinded the, the 12? The Brea 12. Yeah, 12. Yeah, back salad. Wow. Yeah. 
Sick. Yeah, and and then uh, and then it goes to the next scene in Victorville. Um, Antoine checks U-Haul truck, <laughs> uh, and that was literally when Antoine was uh, moving out of his mom's house for the first time. Like I took him to the U-Haul place, and he's like riding. Uh, he, I think you might have seen a clip of it. It might be in the uh, Big Guys of Death Wish, but he's like got a little like a a little booklet, and he's got shorts on. And he's like walking around some U-Haul, and he's like like checking like oh there's no damage there no damage there <laughs> but, but yeah just totally random but uh um, so, so oh and funny. then and then another antoine clip at uh this burbank gap creeps up with sour straws <laughs> and then and then another uh clip a sleep in car and i think that was uh that was another scene in the video i like i like walk up to my car and he's like sleeping and i got the camera light and he's just like looking zoned out <laughs> but uh all right we'll keep it going oh yeah. shit damn okay damn this tape this has got the very first uh shake jump premiere um in riverside at a at a shop called crooks crooks oh, skate shop I them, yeah. but I, I but yeah uh i remember i was filming in the ride over there we we're like wilding out it was me shane and reno and flip you know all the shake jump uh we all had shake jump parts in the video but it says uh who shake jump crew <laughs> drinking and driving uh, 60, <laughs> the 60 East or whatever. And then, uh, uh, fan gets bored out of rose bush crooks shop. That was a product toss where we threw a board. Oh, and these, these kids jumped in a rose bush. Oh, and no. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh shit. And then it just, it just gets pretty hijinks here, but there's one that says, uh, <laughs> I even spell it out. It says, um, Oh shit. Um, Beagle motherfucking. Hold on one sec. Books on quick. <laughs> Don't lose those pages. Right. It says Beagle 15 motherfucking north. But uh, I was just fucking giving directions, like at kind of like wasted after the premiere. <laughs> <laughs> directions. But I like, yeah, I like wrote it how I said it or whatever. 15 motherfucking north. <laughs> <laughs> giving directions back home but anyway I damn it. i don't know man i don't know who wins but i love how you Roger. pretty good dude that's i love rad. how you have all this stuff like Thanks, just written man. down yeah. man that's insane i must be a trip on memory lane for you man like every every tape just to see something new remember something mm -hmm. yeah for real kelly um no i think almost every week when i'm when i'm here i'll usually like the episodes air on thursday night so i'll usually kind of like like spend like a Wednesday digging up something, throwing it together or whatever. Mm. And, and all the time, every Wednesday, I'm like just uh, at home alone, just laughing. Just yeah, laughing. Yeah. Like, there's, there's always a lot of shit that I, that I don't remember. And I'm just like, Oh my God, it's so fucking hijinks, dude. Like, dude, yeah, it's great. It's great. It'd be awesome to see a video. If you set up a camera of you watching your footage. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this, oh, shit. like it, to chop it, it up. Yeah. To chop it up real quick. And it'd be like a minute video, but like, you're because watching you react to even you on your uh, the books is funny as hell too, yeah. man. Thanks, man. Sick. <laughs> Thanks, man. That'd be yeah, awesome fuck. Clip. Maybe I'll do something like that. I I love it, man. I love the hijinks net and all that stuff. So what was it? I mean, you just wanted to get all your tapes out there, and you, there what fifteen minutes, twenty minutes sometimes. Uh, yeah, you know when 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 Herm and I kind of first started putting them together, we were thinking like. Uh, 10 minutes should be a good episode. Yeah. Like, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be longer than 10. Cause then it's like, you're giving away uh, too much. Like you could spread it out. Sure. But you know, after seeing these tapes and stuff, I don't know. Sometimes there's like a lot of different sessions on the tape. Mm -hmm. And so it really changes the, the, the length of the episodes. But lately I've found them being like an average of like 15 minutes long. Okay. But the longest one I have had was 45 minutes long. And that was um, an Australian tour tape. There was just oh. so much shit going on. And <laughs> I mean, the tapes are, they're pretty much like, they're raw, like 99%, basically. If anything, I'll just like trim, like if I left the camera recording or mm -hmm. something, it's literally just filming the ground and it's right. like, okay, no one, need, no one needs to see that. But yeah. for the most part, it's like the actual tape. It's most, the, most of the attempts and everything. So everything's just, it's, t it's literally tape by tape. It's like tape one. You're not splicing many tapes together, are you? No. Um, if, if I do splice any, there'll be like a tripod angle on mm. a separate tape. Okay, gotcha. You know, and I'll be like, okay, that, and maybe there's a little something from that, that day, that same day on a different tape, you know, okay. or whatever. That's like the only um, 
circumstance. So it's essentially, it's just it's one tape. Mostly, mostly, unless there's a oh. tripod angle, there'll be a little bit of that that tape or that angle. But yeah, it's always it's one tape. Yeah, wow. and I like to like jump around, you know, like go from different years, you know, mm -hmm. definitely not in order because that that just be more boring, like in order. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's like it's cool to see the difference too. It's like oh shit, and and. 2000 wearing some birdhouse uh shirt you know <laughs> filming uh filming heath kurtzhardt or something and then and then like later on just like afro and just like high as fuck stone i don't know just yeah it's cool yeah it's like um nostalgic going through it for sure you just randomly Anyways. choose the the tape like off the top of your yeah. head yeah pretty much like we'll just think about it we'll be like oh you know like antoine had a sick episode last week let's move yeah. to Shift it around. Just just try to keep it as diverse as possible. Yeah. That's a great idea, man. I mean, so many, we, we talk about it on the show so much, Raj, right? Yeah. It's like all these filmers and even skaters, you know, it's like they, they're like scared of YouTube or some shit. It's really fucking <laughs> bizarre. Fuck. I really got Herm like, just like setting it off for that's me, amazing I can't think of enough i know it really like took took herm to be like really set the wheel in motion really like yeah, for so this you, you know side gig you know are yeah. you noticing the monetization growing yeah dude for sure and that's another thing you know the monetization we thought like okay keep the episodes under 10 minutes make the mm -hmm. most out of it but still you'll you'll still get monetization for like every like five minutes right like no matter if it's a like 20 minute episode like you'll that 20 minute length episode will, will still like, uh, yeah. Accumulate a good monetization. You totally. Know? Now they're, they're YouTube yeah. switching it from 10 minutes to eight, eight. minutes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. No, but the, yeah, the, sometimes we got to bite the bullet when like, there's just like a great moment of someone playing like a song, like a, like a 50 cent song yeah. or something like that. And it's like, Oh fuck, we can't like sacrifice the hijinks quality for, monetization like you know it's yeah like, some of them you just chalk up you're like no this is too hijinks fuck the monetization like you got to see this you know <laughs> yeah it's not worth a couple bucks yeah, yeah yeah for sure yeah but uh on that note though the um we got some great apparel too uh, yeah mm -hmm. apparel, yeah so yeah. yeah yeah like you said you got the beach towel and uh plenty of shirts mugs whatever you guys just also, doing teespring yeah teespring yeah mm -hmm. yeah what's great, right about man. that is you could you put it right under the video so on YouTube, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. You're watching the video and you could order a shirt. Don't even leave, even leave the page. Yeah. yeah. Dude, and, and on the premieres, like sometimes, do you, do you ever get like donations? Yeah. Right? People watch it. Oh, so yeah. rad, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, yeah, we get, uh, that's how we survive is off the note. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. No, but is, for what happened with us, Beagle, is like when we started doing this, the super chat also for the experience show, we didn't even realize that people could donate. And people started donating yeah. and donating and donating and donating. And we were kind of like, what rad. the fuck? Yeah. Like, this is insane. And then I, I don't know. I started feeling bad. Like I, I feel bad, like taking people's bets. So then we started doing the raffle. So we started, and we have a raffle every episode that we do that the donations come in. And then the next episode we pick from the donations to win something, you know? That's so we're giving rad. back, wow. you know? I love that. You guys are great for that. Yeah. Good idea. But it's, dude, when we first saw that, Roger, we were like, oh, dude, this is insane. Yep. And then they just kept coming and coming and we were like, wow, like, you know, you just see like the, you know, supporters and the, commu totally the community, you know? Yeah. Much love out there, man. Ooh. Thanks thanks for all the donations and all the support. Everybody out there, man. Thanks. So you have like a few regulars that come to the, uh, the chat every week? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Shout them out. It's like people, people <laughs> from Hawaii. Um, man, Mama, Mama, uh, eight oh eight. I think. Okay. <laughs> Got a Mama eight oh eight. I always see her. If it is a girl, I don't know, but. Uh, um, yeah, that's that's all right for now. But. Yeah, I've been, dude. I've been meaning to stop by the chat. I always forget. I always oh yeah, forget. all good, man. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, tonight, huh? Yeah, tonight at eight, right? Yeah. Jump in the chat, man. Thursday, mm -hmm. Thursday nights, eight o'clock. High Jinx yep. Net YouTube channel. Go join yep. the chat. And yeah, the day before the chat, that, man. join our chat. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, that's right. We could have chats every day of the week, Beagle. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keeps chat. That's right, man. Yeah, interact with the we you know with the audience, man. I think that's that's what it is nowadays. You know, it's interaction. It's like they want an experience. You know, they want to talk to Beagle. That's cool, man. I'm so glad we're able to do that. Isn't awesome. that sick? Does your dog ever join the chat? <laughs> <laughs> Murdy ever get in there? Fucking. He actually he's always passed out by that time, like right next to me, just on his side, <laughs> just laying on the floor next to me. Because right before I, I do the um, the uh, live chat, 
eight o'clock, I, mm-hmm. I sneak, I sneak in a, a chicken burrito from Cactus Taqueria up the street. And every time I get a chicken burrito, I, I take some of the, that chicken oh, out okay. and put in Murdy's food. <laughs> so like, yeah, Mur- Murdy's coma. in a food coma. He's got a food, yeah, yeah exactly. food coma. You Where? know he loves the chicken, man. <laughs> Where's he at now? Uh, right now he's at my folks in Huntington. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. He's at the country club, like, yeah, getting the fat out there, man. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's good. You seem good. I, I brought him out there um, just a few days ago because I had to go to Las Vegas um, for Brian Herman's wedding out oh, there. Rad, yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, he got married uh, last Sunday, um, like at eight o'clock at night. But yeah, it was awesome. So how, how was that, dude? It, oh man, that shit was it was epic, man. Like I think he uh, he kind of was planning on it just being like low key, you know. Mm-hmm. But it was still a, a lot of uh, homies, you know, like heard about it and. And came out, and I think there's like at least like 25 people there. Oh, sick. And I, I think he loved it. It was it was still perfect. It, it was that full blown. Uh, everybody was saying it too. It was like that that Kill Bill uh, chapel, like yeah. that uh, that like um, size of a chapel, and it had like the Western vibe. Like Herm and, and his lady uh, Julia, would, like zooted all sick with the cowboy hats and everything. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it was tight, man. It was tight. Good wedding. Man, Brian Herman, dude. He's a man. Yeah, he's great. That's yeah, amazing sure. though. Cuz he's been uh, he's been going out with his chick for a while, I think. Yeah, man. Uh the thing about them, I think they've been going out for like 5 years or five something, years. but but they they actually uh had been with each other like back in the day for a little bit, like like when they were like 16 or something. Mm-hmm. So the, it's crazy that they I don't know, they re-met again right. and everything. It's really cool, yeah. But yeah, they're perfect. They're perfect for each other. Life's life's strange. Seriously, man. Yeah. I, I will say though, I will share uh, one of like my favorite rituals at least twice a year. Uh, whenever I go to Vegas, I try to try to eat some mushrooms out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking, it's one of the coolest places. You know, anybody watching that that um, you know you don't if you don't do mushrooms or whatever, that's casual. But if you do. You have to eat them in in Vegas. You know it's epic. It's so epic. The the lights and everything and well, like oh, going man. on to the so strip like the or strip, something. Yeah, the strip. Yeah, you can walk down the strip. But like my favorite thing is like you know the the wedding happened and we had a, um, a wedding reception over at uh, Braden's mom's house. Oh, that's like awesome. nice nice backyard and everything. Mm-hmm. Like so, all the homies went there afterward. But I, yeah, I just kept eating these mushrooms <laughs> and. Uh, I got back to my hotel at the Aria at um, like six in the morning. And then, dude, I was just up there on the 30th floor, like watching the sun come up out my window. And uh, I just pulled the chair up to the window. And I just, I just, I watched like, I was just sitting, just staring outside till like nine in the morning. <laughs> but it was so epic, like watching the mountains. Uh, the mountains were like, like waving and, and the buildings and everything. But anyway, it's like such a, a spiritual like uh, cleansing. You know, mm. I recommend it. I highly recommend it for anybody that's not scared to uh, indulge in mushrooms to try in Vegas. Vegas. Really cool, beautiful place. <laughs> is is it reopened now? Did they reopen it? Yeah, they did. But oh, I, they did. I heard not I heard that they're gonna they're gonna mm. close it again. I oh, heard. Okay. I heard it's gonna be. But yeah, just uh, everybody just wearing masks. Yeah. Like, that's all gambling dude masks. i always trip i've never done mushrooms but i trip on like if i do do it i'm just gonna have a bad trip is there like yeah. a technique or something going into it Don't yeah around shitty people definitely let me recommend this to anybody that hasn't tried mushrooms before um uh if it's your first time especially don't eat them like at like a bar or like where there's a lot of people like that it's like i'm gonna catch if anything vibes. Yeah, if anything, like, of course, like, nature is really sick, you know, it's like, that's better, you know, but if you're, like, around somebody, like, I've had one bad dust, uh, one bad mushroom trip, and that was uh, Dustin Dolan was involved, <laughs> you know, like, I, and, and, like, yeah, I was, like, I had, I think that's one of the only bad mushroom trips I ever had, but you got to be selective, like, who you're around and shit, you know, like, right. I love Dustin. I love Dustin, but you want like you know, a certain kind of energy. Yeah, like if you already know you're, you get annoyed with somebody easily. Yeah, like you're not. I like mean, that's a bad person to choose, right? I mean, yeah, pretty much. But I didn't even see it coming. Like I was in a situation. It was uh, 2006, and we had gone out to Arizona. Um, and at that time, uh, I was with Dustin and, and a bunch of friends. I think it was maybe uh, 
maybe Aaron Piercy's birthday party out there, somebody's birthday party. But at the time, uh, Dustin, um, he was with the, uh, his wifey at the time was uh, in a gothic rock band. It was rad. They were epic. The, the band was called uh, Volterra. And they were epic. They were sick. I love their music and everything. But they played a show at the local bar in 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 uh, Arizona. I think it might have been uh, Tempe. But uh, man, like they got special effects. They got like blood, like spitting out, and like chainsaws, and like like goth music and shit. And but anyway, I made the mistake uh, of filming. I had my TRV nine hundred in the bar. And I, I had eaten these mushrooms right before then. And I was like, I had this camera light and I was like, people were getting tortured. Like, oh, Beagle, get that light out of my face. Oh, uh, uh, you know? And I think Dustin like tortured me a little more than anyone else. He was like, the fuck you doing Beagle with that camera or whatever. And then I was like, oh shit. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? You know, like, it was like, so it's definitely one thing I don't like to do is film uh, with the camera while on mushrooms because it's like trippy. You're just like, whoa. Like, even if you're filming skating, you're like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm filming this guy on, on wood and four wheels, <laughs> like, <laughs> like hurt himself, like for a living. Like, it's like, whoa. It's and then, weird. Don, you got the next one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. I don't like to mix uh, filming and bars yeah. with uh, mushrooms. Don't mix uh, business with pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That's right. What about yeah, what about right. actually skateboarding in mushrooms? You ever do that? It's rad. It's fucking epic. It's <laughs> I keep epic. hearing that from people too that do do that. I've heard the first, both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, yeah. I hear a lot of more more good things about mm-hmm, it. But from mm-hmm. my personal experience, I remember like like first time when I still lived in Huntington. I might have been like seventeen years old when I first ate some mushrooms, and I first was like feeling them, and I was out in front of. Uh, Chet Thomas's uh, skate shop at the time it was called Aftermath, and I ate the mushrooms like there is right by Murdy Skate Park, and and I'm there at Aftermath, and I go outside and skate, and I I, I went to do a fakie flip on flat in the parking lot, and all these little uh, like rocks in the in the concrete or, or the the asphalt that you don't pay attention to. It's just like they were all just flying by on the ground and shit. And <laughs> it was just. Like doing a fakey flip was just like, whoa, fucking <laughs> epic, man. But anyway, like I don't mean to sound like a bad influence on, on anybody, but uh, I, I recommend fucking taking some money. No, it stuff. works for you. Yeah. You know, you yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, what I think so funny, Beagle, is like you're just like, I trip out on you, bro. <laughs> like you will, what was it, last year or something? Like you're, you're in Bali. Like oh, yeah, DJing dude. somewhere and you're, but you're skating Sick. and yeah. like, I felt like all the footage, like all the kids around were like so fucking hyped <laughs> on you too. Like it was Thanks, like, man. I'm like, what are you doing down there? Like you just went down for a DJ gig? No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no. I, so that was my second time in Bali, but, uh, my basically like my old lady, like basically had, had always wanted to go to Bali. Mm-hmm. So we, we finally did Bali's in Indonesia. Mm-hmm. We, we did that like in 2017. And then two years later, we went back there um, again. Okay. And yeah, it's like they got a skate community out there and stuff. So when I went back there recently, I, I, by that time I had been DJing gigs and stuff. So I already had like a good friend, my good friend Indra um, in Bali as soon as we got there, it's like, "Hey, can you get me some DJ gigs?" He's like, "What? Fuck yeah, you kidding me? Like, <laughs> Beagle oh. DJ out here? Hell yeah, man!" So like, yeah, of course, all the the skate community came out yeah. for some DJ gigs, and you know, it's rad. But anyway, that's like, I mean, it's all because of skateboarding the the connections, you know. Of oh, course. totally. Yeah. I mean, from yeah. your Instagrams, it looked like you went out there to DJ, and then you were having this like <laughs> best time out there. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, look out. at this dude, like just that's Chili's rad. wearing the whole like. Like, like, what are they called? Like the, the, Yo. the skirts and the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Um, no, you're right. You're right. That was one, uh, um, uh, a skate contest where I actually get, had to get completely in the kit. I yeah. Had that, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's a, it's yeah, a garb that, that they wear. It's yeah. The, no. Yeah. That belt, the belt thing. I forget what that's called, but, uh, <laughs> the, the hat thing is called a uh, Udang. Okay. But I was, I was rocking the Udang. It's almost like a bandana. Yep. 
but at the Udang and, and, uh, dude, their swag out there is the best. Like, man, the, the pants you get out there, they're so like colorful thing is like they could tear easy oh. if you skate in them, but oh. they're like literally like $3 out there. Oh wow. You go to Bali, you come up like on so much like gear and shit for like, it's so like inexpensive out there. It's rad. Man. Huh. Yeah. It seems like the, yeah. the, the skate community out there is sick. It is man. It's rad. The spots are kind of hard to skate. You know, it's like a lot of like parks with bowls and transition. Yeah. The street spots are a little more difficult, like mm-hmm. pretty crunchy, but still like they're really a uh, friendly people out there in Bali. It looks Shout like out it. Bali, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you guys got to check it out one day. I, I want to go. Oh man. my God. Yeah, I yeah. wish. Yeah. Like I said, and I was... you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get around in the motor scooter. It's the only way. Yeah. Really? It's all, the, yeah, it's all, well, you can drive a car. But the whole, most of the island is a uh, one lane road. So if you're in a car, you're going to be like just stuck behind like traffic or whatever. But that's why people just motor scooters. Mm-hmm. It's like a swarm. It's like the most uh, controlled chaos of, of <laughs> driving. You know, so much traffic of scooters, but there's no road rage. It doesn't exist out there. No one is honking to be like, hey, what are you thinking? Like get in front of me. Like, no, it's like they just honk flow. and let you know. Hey, I'm right behind you on your right. Like, you know, like that's, <laughs> it's crazy, man. But yeah, I, I wouldn't even, I, I would never ride a motorcycle in LA or nothing. Right. I never have, probably never will. But out there, it's like, every, it, it's just, they go, they live by nose goes, they say. Like if, if you're in front, like you're, in, you're going in front oh, of him. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, there's no like snaking or like, it's just, it's crazy how it works. Huh. Sounds like a, what a, Society should be like almost. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Seriously. Yeah, you guys got to go go to Bali one day. For I'd sure. love to, man. Maybe I could get some yeah. DJing gigs out there. <laughs> play play, play my iPod. <laughs> and, Fuck it, man. They'll be psyched. They'll be psyched to have you out there. Yeah, it's just rad. I just love watching your Instagrams about Bali. It was so sick. All those Thanks, kids man. out there and and just even still skating. Like you're on vacation, you're doing your thing, but you're like still fucking ripping it up. Chris, one thing you could, it's the biggest mistake you could ever make is don't not bring in your skateboard wherever you go, yeah. no matter what, if yeah. it's on, if it's on some trip with, with wifey or whatever, you like have your skateboard. You're mm. going to come across that nose grind that you, <laughs> waiting to see. Wait, you know, so like, wifey wasn't even tripping? Hell no. No, I mean. She's like, you what? You're bringing your board here? We're going on vacation. No, no. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and that, you know, like, yeah, there, there was respect, you know, she, she knows I love to skate. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. No, man, that nose grind could come along in at any minute. Speaking of that, Chris, oh, no, did you no, ever, no. did you go. ever, <laughs> we got to go, coming. Beagle, we got to go. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, nice come on, man. Chatting I with knew you. it was coming. Damn. Oh man, come I on. I didn't did get it, bro. Oh, dude, what? Oh. No, we were talking about, when you were here, we were talking about nose grind back 180 out right or more than three feet yeah yeah of course, not, of course. not one of those like ding ding one right. motions but like a, a block hug nose grind and back then you did it and posted it and you don't know how many people tagged <laughs> me and dm <laughs> me thanks, about man. it thanks man. you know what i think back then i was just at a point where i wasn't even going out and skating that much you know yeah you were quiet uh, on the skateboard back i was then. quiet yeah. man and then now i'm now. like now i'm just I'm on Skating the curbs. I'm on the slappy tip, man. I love it. You gotta do Damn, we'll slappy we'll front nose grind, dude. Slappy front nose grind, Raj. You know. Yeah? yeah. Back, Back 180 out. Yeah. I mean, you've slappy? already done it. Have you not done a? Have you not done the slappy? Front dude, nose a slappy front nose grind is hard, bro. It looks like you just hurt your ankle. Like, how would you even? Yeah, you'd have to like really get on top of it. That's crazy how it works. Wow. Aggressive, but. But damn, yeah, definitely aggressive. But but, like, but uh, you got to find one, Chris. We got to get this. This yeah. uh, nose grind back 180, nose man. Nose grind back 180. If I know. We're br- no, we're bringing it back up again. It has to be done. Okay, I know, I dude. Ledge spot down the street for you. You got a good ledge spot, Raj? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, okay good. <laughs> it's, I recommend it being like a sharp ledge for sure. Yeah, yeah. with the nose grinds, you got to have the sharp ledge. You got to pop out in the middle, though. But this, it doesn't really matter because you're coming back 180 out of a nose grind. Wait, did you back 180 out and, and at the end, right? It was some metal edge, yellow? Was uh, it yellow? Yeah. Metal edge? No, no. No? So check it out. Check it out. I, I the only It was the only time I ever did it. Yeah. It was it was in December in Nashville. It was at a skate park. It was a low metal fun box. Okay. It was maybe maybe six feet long, but it, it was 30 degrees. Oh, shit. 
it was freezing. It was so cold, but it was still the perfect fun box for it. And it's still the only one I ever did. And I've tried it a couple of times since then. I, it's still hard you as can. fuck. I, I haven't done it again since then. Huh. I've been trying it. But, uh, so that was but, after the, sh- after you were on the show, then you went out yeah, to where Nashville? It was that month. It was that, that month. month. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I got to get this challenge done before Chris. Oh God, and I, I blew it, dude. I blew it. All good, man. All good. Oh my God. But you weren't even trying, though. <laughs> I know. You're still not trying. That's a thing. Yeah. Oh, I blew it. No, I love it, man. Yeah. You, you know, know what, though? I'm going to try, because I never even thought about it. I mean, we talked with Neen about a slappy nose grind, and he did it. Dude, he posted he, it on his Instagram. Around the curve. Around the curve. That was insane. That's impressive, but Neen. Before that, I wow. never even thought about a slappy nose grind. I mean, you could all go to the courthouse in New Orleans Ledges there. Oh, I have to drive there. <laughs> cool. No, honestly, yeah, it's a good one, uh, uh, Kelly. The the courthouse metal ledges are perfect. I think so. When you did it, because they Roger said you do pop out in the middle. Does that really even matter on that trick that you're popping out in the middle? Because you kind of just no, fall. it doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't. You're right. You're yeah. right. I was gonna say that. Yeah, it it doesn't glide off the end of the ledge. It almost is like popping out in the middle. It just happened to have been at the end but yeah. yeah it's crazy how the wheel grips you can't go to front crook uh at all or or in that angle at all because it'll it'll slide out or it'll, it'll yeah. slip out when you when you go to turn but you literally like the the secret is going to almost like a front side over crook where the where the back wheels are almost like above the ledge and that'll give you that like that yeah. spring back yeah you know, like, if you're doing it and you're kind of just turning your shoulders a little bit but i also think that starting from the beginning of the let like you can't do it from the middle right i mean you can obviously but if you started from end to end if you went if you started from the you, you know from, from the from corner the you can start from the yeah middle for sure. yeah but if you I start from the middle like end is easiest. yeah because if you start from the middle your your weight's already going on there and then you need to get back out right yeah if you're starting the from begin- the from the beginning yeah you have that helps. weight it helps. It helps, but you could start in the middle. But one thing to think about, Chris, when I'm you do this to trick, make this easier. Uh, <laughs> when you do this trick uh, next week, you got to think <laughs> like this: uh, the moment you get into the front side nose grind, pretend that you're actually doing a switch nose grind, and 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 kind of put your your face almost looking backwards, uh, like you're you got to you look over your shoulder. Like you're going fakey, yeah. like, yeah. you know, like you're almost like you're going fakey. Yeah, it can't be like an open shoulder, like a nose grind front 180 like that. Yeah, where, you, yourself whiplash. Where you, you want your you want your shoulder actually like like open backwards like that, yeah. and then that way you could you could spring back like a it's like a suchu uh, <laughs> mark suchu technique or something like. <laughs> yeah, because normally Cause like hips. That, I'm doing a nose grind. Yeah. My my shoulders here going leading the way. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like that, but now I got turn it into a switch. Exactly, I got to be like that. Grind. Yeah, like you're. Yeah, the like shoulders. A, like a you got to turn your shoulders grind. as much as you can, and then what is the end yeah. of the ledge? Boom. Yeah, you know what right. might help don't you. Go, do you what don't might? go front crook at all. Don't go front yeah. crook. No, at no, all. no, no, be, no, no, front crook. Yeah, then it, boom. You, yeah, you know what might be good with that? It's like for some. I know Chris is gonna pop shove it, but like. Pop shove it front nose grind back when 80 out. I feel like yeah. it, might, it, it might be oh. almost if you're in it, it might be easier to come out. Does yeah. that make sense? Like, I could see that. Like, I could see that. I don't know why you're trying to make you this start challenge to get harder. In. Yeah, <laughs> no, I love that. Yeah, because you start to get in like a slide over, over crook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. and it starts, to, you yeah. start to go in that motion. So I'm like, oh, I could see yeah. that. To tell you the yeah. truth, dude, I don't wow. know if alling, I don't know what's harder, alling into the nose grind from the beginning of the ledge or slapping into a nose grind. <laughs> Beagle, I don't know. I would dude. say That's Ollie fucking, is probably easier because you've known how to do it. I know that. how to, yeah, yeah of yeah. course. I'd done it my whole life. But yeah, I'd have to crazy. learn a whole new thing, which I'm up for. I love learning new slappies. I'm up for that. So That'd learning the slappy, I'm just I like- I like, feel like a slappy front nose grind back 180 oh, would be get super hard. There. Like to go yep. up like that and then to like throw your shoulders back. I bet you'd be easy on a bank to curb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bank yeah, to you're curb. Because right. you're going back down. Tennis courts, whatever that one's been skating. Yeah. That'd be the spot for it. Oh, shit. Then, yeah. Good call. Because good then call. you're not, you, you don't have to go 90. Yeah. Just, you're going like 40, 40 no, or 45. Come off 90. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you don't have to come out 180. Yeah. yeah. yeah you can just go, go 90. 90. Yeah. Got my degrees messed up there. <laughs> 
Yeah, hey, but Chris, yo, can you guys can you guys run that uh, back like right now or on the episode the one I did? Can you, you want me? You, you want us to run it? it back? We'll run can it you back. Show the yeah. one. Yeah. I'd be sick, dude. Just because you know, um, so I know people were tagging you. People were tagging you like, oh shit, Beagle beat you yeah, or whatever. But but then people like missed it too after. Yeah, that. They're yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, when you're gonna do it? When you're gonna do it? I'm like, dude, scroll back to December 2015. <laughs> my feed, it's there, you know. But if you show it again, just for yeah, the we'll show it again. Think, you gotta send us the the link because we don't. Uh, we'd have I'll to we'd have to scroll back forever. Okay, to find no, that. you don't have time for that. No, <laughs> three years ago, three years ago, I'll send you the link, guys. That was three fucking years ago. Damn, dude, crazy. Um, yeah, two and a half years ago. Two and a half still. Yeah, I remember that so well with Murdy here. I know. I feel um, like you just you had your bucket of chicken up there. You had Murdy here. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, so man. Oh, so yeah, Murdy was hyped to be there, man. Love Murdy. Murdy's been getting a lot of love, dude. I mean, he Thanks, he's man. been he has more followers than every all of us combined. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude. yeah, he definitely is. I mean, he's a famous he's a dog. One, one of a kind, like being. You know, like there's no other dogs like like him really i mean a lot of people would say that about their own dogs you yeah. know like everybody <laughs> loves their own dogs like so whatever but but i mean yeah you, he's wow he's <laughs> on top he's just ahead he's ahead of the game he's always been ahead of the game have any has anyone recognized your dog and not you <laughs> yeah dude it's happened it's happened like three times three times yeah i was in a in downtown la uh near like a like an indoor big like marketplace. There was like a lot of uh, people walking around and I was outside with Murdy and this, this girl, it was an Asian girl walking by, uh, like kind of walked by and then she walked back and she was like, excuse me, is this Murdy the dog? Yeah. <laughs> no. Right. And so, yeah. Yeah. She didn't have like no knowledge about, uh, like skateboarding or myself or anything, you know, it's like, Oh, this is Murdy. I, I follow Murdy or something, you know, Dude, but it's so yeah, mad. like it's so sick. How do you, a dog fan. How do you recognize a dog? That's crazy. Dog I'm versus- saying, Murdy's one of a kind, man. Yeah, it's, you, it's kind of, Murdy's, no, those dogs are, yeah. I mean, you, you see those kind of dogs out there. It's not like, it's not like the only dog that looks like that on earth. There's dogs that look like that. You know, I used to not believe that, okay. but I have seen maybe photos that people send me like my dog looks like Murdy and yeah, I see yeah. maybe maybe two dogs that are almost look like him almost well you know what I mean though it's like you, you there's dogs out there that are that breed that kind of look like you know so just to pass by it on the street and be like is that Murdy yeah. like that's weird it's <laughs> so tight though but he had a gold chain that said Murdy on it oh yeah that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no but even that breed it's like it's a Papillon Chihuahua and like most uh, Papillons are like brown too oh so he's he's like a, hmm. a, t- a total crazy mix oh, like no one really knows wow. yeah yeah Man. yeah but hey, anyway um murdy uh he, he's doing really good he's got his own uh website now <laughs> oh shit uh, murdy yeah, murdy.com yeah, murdy, um, murdy, yeah murdy murdy the dog murdy the dog d-a-w-g <laughs> dot com but there's a lot of merchandise oh and and the the website just got updated so there's a lot of videos there too a Damn. lot of old, just all types of videos of Murdy skating down steps and ramps and whatever, and clothing. And uh, he's on a, like a Teespring hustle now too. So, dude, you got a whole empire over there. You got yeah, hijinks yeah. and Murdy.com. <laughs> <laughs> Murdy, Murdy, bringing home the bacon, man. Well, I, <laughs> oh I think when God, you were, I, love him. I think when you were here last, I said, man, I hope you can make a million dollars off of that dog. You know, you Thanks, lo- you man. love the dog, yeah. but at the same time, there's people out there just that are just, you know, their dogs are Instagram famous and they get deals, they get brand deals, pet food and, and toys and all kinds totally. of shit. You could do like I was saying you I hope that you make good money off of him. No, oh, thanks, man. Thanks. You know. no, not you off know, of like, him. That's a that's not you know what I mean uh, though. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You hope he could he could contribute to the family. There you go. <laughs> there you yeah. go. <laughs> buy buy some paper towels or something. Yeah. Buy but yeah, but bring him the bacon. Yeah. But you know, one interesting interesting fact is Murdy is um, seven and a half years old now. Mm. He's been skating since he was eight months old. Mm-hmm. Um, so this year in December, he'll be eight years old. And dog years are uh, seven uh, human years. So that's 56 years old. He's going to be like a 56-year-old skater in <laughs> December. So I'll, I'm not sure how old Tony Hawk is. but A couple of years younger, I think. A couple right? years younger. Right, yeah. okay. So he's going to be older than like, 
you know, Tony Hawk, and, <laughs> you know, he's like in December. So he's basically got like a, a window for like another year for like the stair game and shit, you know? Oh, damn. he's going to retire kind of soon, but it, you know, he's a legend though. I don't know. I think you can keep going, man. <laughs> any, any new spots Sick. in mind that like he's looking at? Good question. Uh, Kelly, it's hard to find spots from he's <laughs> done so much. Wait a minute. You know, he's almost done. He's almost done every stair set, you know, in, in Southern California. I feel yeah. like there was a stair set we were talking about when you were on the show last. It was like a, was it a triple yeah, El set? Toro. Or, oh, El, El Toro. Toro. Yeah. He actually, so he went there twice, or no, he went there three times to do it. <laughs> and then, and then believe it or not, you're not going to believe this, but another dog did it oh, before Murdy. No. Yeah. I know, but it, it, you know, it's like. So it's ABD. Did the dog get pissed? ABD. Yeah. So he's not going to do it. Murdy was a little <laughs> Do a switch. No, no. Yeah, and Murdy was a little bummed. He was like, but at the same time, he's relieved. He's like, oh, so I don't have to go to El Toro? Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I mean, he's done 27 stairs. He's done 21s, 21 flat sevens. It's like, okay, fuck El Toro. Just good. It's almost like I'm glad the other dog did El Toro. Do we know who the other dog is? So, yes, yes. Oh, I, you do. Uh, the, other dog's, the other dog's name is Rowdy. Rowdy. And it's a female. It's a female dog mm. that's. Only like two years old, so oh, she got wow. a lot of energy, a lot of spunk, and she's <laughs> really 14. talented. What kind of dog? Yeah, exactly. Um, she's surprisingly, which I did not think would work, but she's a um, Datsun. Oh. Like the stretch dogs. Oh, yeah. okay. So she's like a stretch dog mix. I, if you would have told me that, I, I would have I been like, no, like only Murdy could do this because he's short and yeah, but yeah. like you know, you got a stretch dog going down El Toro, but one fact about that is they they redid El Toro oh, stairs. Right, that's right. It's different. It's different. I I haven't really been there since there, but when Murdy tried it, it was the original, mm -hmm. so steep, and right. I'm sure it's still steep. But it might have had something to do with it. Like, okay, new other dog comes along, it's new set. Like, okay, here you go, <laughs> take out Murdy real quick, you know. But uh, but yeah, it's all love though, you know. Shit, you can't. You know, can't wait to be all. mad. It's props. Yeah, props. I love that dog. another dog any went dog. and did it. So yeah. Murdy can't do it. It's ABD. <laughs> it's already been done. Yeah. No, and literally that's what happened. Like Murdy was going to do El Toro for the Baker 4 video. Yeah. I was keeping it like under wraps. I wasn't going to tell anybody when he landed it. I, I tell the close, <laughs> close friends, but it wasn't going to be on Instagram. It was just going to come out in Baker 4. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so once that came out, uh, Lil Rowdy did it um, maybe in like, August mm. Baker four came out in uh, like November. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I got a little, little time to uh, change uh, my plan. Like, all right, what Murdy, what stairs do you want to do? What do you think? <laughs> you know? And he said, Hollywood 16. Okay. Uh. So, yeah. So I'm like, that's perfect. Murdy. Cause uh, you know, all the Baker guys got legendary hammers down the 16. So you're going to be in the Baker video skating the Hollywood 16 is perfect. So he did it. Uh, I think third or fourth try. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. First time going there. First time yeah, going there, yeah, but yeah. but fourth fourth attempt he did it and wow. Yeah, it was big set, but that I think that was the the peak of his uh career right there like damn the, the steepest set, you know. Yeah. How what happened Very on the steep. bales? So the first one he um he went at least halfway down, maybe more than halfway. Mm -hmm. And then uh second one uh kind of like halfway again and then the third one he kind of jumped i think he might have jumped off like right away and mm. then i realized you know i'm like fuck i think uh i was helping him uh get a, a head start like too quickly mm. like riding up to it and uh so we we're about to leave we we're about to pack up we we're like oh we're over it. We're, <laughs> done. we're done murdy's over it he, he's not feeling the stairs you know because after three times you know you're like fuck you're kind of forcing yeah. your dog to ride down some stairs and they <laughs> bailed three times so yeah so we're about to leave and i'm like wait wait i'm like murdy do you want to try one more you know and his ears go up like hmm? you know like huh huh you know yeah i'm like you want to try one more huh you do right and then he's like you know he got up and then he he he, he followed me up the stairs you know every time he actually he jumped on the board himself so he like he he like signs up for it, you know, like I didn't, I didn't like carry him up the stairs, go like, here you go. Right. Good luck. You know, blah, blah, <laughs> shove him down the stairs. Yeah. You're not pushing but, like, him. He gets yeah. on the board and goes. Yeah. I ask him, I'm like, do you want to? And he's like, hmm. his ears go up and he's like, yeah. You know, and I say one more try. He knows what that means. Right. One more try. 
And he's like, he like, okay, he he's like, all right, he goes up the stairs, <laughs> and that was it. The fourth try, he did it, and we wow. were we we're about to leave. It wasn't gonna be a fourth try, but he did it fourth try. And when you watch the footage in the Baker Four video, when Murdy rides down the stairs, mm-hmm. it's such a big, uh, like the the steps are tall and steep. So when he goes to the finally hits the flat, you know, he was in this like vertical position for so long, <laughs> bouncing going down the. Stairs. So when he goes to flat, it's like whoa and he, he he lifts up like a like a paw maybe even both almost both paws like the yeah. front paws like go back like he almost does like a manual right, out of it, right, right. you know because it's so it's so steep to flat and he's like whoa manual out and it was like that was one of the the best moments of my life like oh my god murder you did it like you held on the whole way down and you know believe me dog that's like you're so nervous for your dog riding. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, like I thought about it for like months, you know, like a good month or two, I'd be like, ah, oh, we're just going to have to ride down 16, like in a couple weeks, you know, it better, it better, you know, it better be <laughs> on your training. toes. You know, yeah. shit. If you but, asked, uh, have you ever asked Murdy one more try? And he said, no, good question. Um, I don't think so. Okay. I think he always say, he always <laughs> is like, all right, he really wants me to try one more try. So maybe he doesn't know what that means. (laughs) You know, uh, dude, um, about a month ago or so, we went to that Walnut 21 stair. The Uh, one that... uh, Oh, the tall one? one? Yeah, tall, big-ass rail. And Foy Foy was skating that rail. And he got his trick down the 21 stair rail, like, second try. Yeah, there was, like, a bunch of... uh, Was it the the grind? Was it the grind, the the body rail switch grind? Was that... (laughs) No, fuck no. Oh, my God. That'd be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Was it? Didn't he, didn't he do that? <coughs> I was talking about Jamie Foy, right? He did that uh, grind, oh, body okay. rail grind on like a triple kink or something like that. Yeah. Oh. Or other rails. He did it on other rails. But <laughs> this rail, you got to go as fast as you possibly can to get on it because it's super high and oh, far okay. out. So, yeah, he, I don't know if he could pull that off. Maybe yeah, I was probably, thinking the wrong rail. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> He'll do anything. He'll do anything, but but uh, he got a sick trick. You'll see it. It'll be in the Death Wish video. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Murdy was there, and there was a photographer there, uh, Jake Darwin. He was up in the tree, and there was, like, other filmers there. There's uh, Bobby Bills, really good uh, filmer. Oh, with, like, yeah. a really nice camera, and uh, – and then there was Kaylin, the Death Wish filmer. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, Murdy, do you want to try the 21? Because you got a lot of angles here. You got, <laughs> you got, you got me film. You got three angles. You got, you got a, a sequence in the tree. And he was like, fuck, well, Jamie just did that trick. All right, I'll try it. So he tried that uh, three times. So he didn't get it, though. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't land it's it. It's a big no, size stairs. It's big. It is. But the thing is, like, I know he can do it. I don't know what it was. I think it was, like, too hot. He like it's thirsty, he's like right. tongue out and shit. Like oh fuck, like it's just too hot to skate for the dog. Sometimes that's good that you let the dog kind of you know decide whether to to do it totally, or not. Man. Because at the same time, I, like you just put the board there and Murdy jumps on and goes. You 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 don't push him for real. And if I do push him, it's like he already jumped on the board. And signed up for it. He needs a like, he needs a little. He needs a little boost. Little boost. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I love it, man. Murdy. Yeah. Man. Thanks, He's man. Killing it. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise, you're like, yeah, Peta's after you. You know, <laughs> cruelty to animals. <laughs> right. They need they need to sign up for it. They the, need the dog something. Needs, yeah, Is, the dog needs to uh, uh, be a participant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Is there any celebration? <laughs> Do you get them like treats or anything special? Like afterward, just that night when we come home, I'll just give him like some chicken, you know. Like I don't like, <laughs> like to bring, burrito. yeah, from from the cactus burrito, yeah. Uh, but I don't like to bring treats on the uh, scene because I he'll just get distracted. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll just be like, oh fuck, skating. What do you have? What's that? <laughs> I also feel like treats are kind of like a uh, like egging egging it on. You know, it's like you're trying to get. Uh, something from the animal, you know, it it's, could like, be, it, you, like, it's like they're very treat oriented. So they're going to do whatever you say. And that could work. That's yeah. just going to require a lot of training to get them to think like that. But like, I like it better you, when you don't though, because yeah. it's just a dog doing it and you're not egging it on with, uh, with some treats to try to get him to do it. You know what I mean? No, exactly. Like he's just yeah. doing it on, on his own. Exactly. It. No, it's all right. praise. Still. It's all praise. Yeah. As long as the, the homies are like, Oh, like clapping and shit. He just, Stays on the board looking up, tail wagging, like, you like that? You like that shit? Yeah, you, you guys seen it? You guys see what I just did? And then also, like, 
like like at night or or any time when we're not skating, if I take out my phone and I'm showing like like uh, friends or somebody that that doesn't know about Murdy, I'm showing uh, them his Instagram with his skate videos. He'll hear the his videos and they'll like jump up, tail wagging, and they'll like jump on whoever is watching the video and be like. I like start barking like yeah like yeah you see that that's <laughs> like you see you you see me did the did the stairs like you know that's so he, he knows like he does it all for praise just yeah. like res- respect you know <laughs> yeah. I love it Beagle oh let me ask you a question we always talk about this on this show people seem to like it a lot you skate a lot you fucking rip you just learned slappies aggressive slappies Shit. slappy Thanks, switch man. crooks yeah what is your board setup let's break this down. Oh, I like that you ask because it's kind of interesting. Oh, um, we've had this original Baker shape back in the day when Baker first started in in the year two thousand. This shape was the same shape that uh, Reynolds Road, Ellington Road. It, at the time, it was the widest board. It was it was long before the eight and a quarters, eight and a halfs, all that. Mm-hmm. This shape was like a eight point nineteen, something like that, like eight point twenty or mm. something. And the shape was called a uh, C47. And when we got the first Baker boards made, it was sick. I was riding the same shape that Andrew was riding. It, it seemed big at the time, but throughout the fucking years, it's weird. It's like a weird theory that um, they, they changed the, the name of the shape a long time ago. They changed it to a B1. Mm. And so it was always a B1. And then it ended up being like the, the second skinniest shape, you know, there was like a, a B seven, which was like eight inches, but it's weird. Like it said on top of it, like 8.19 on the board, like that's how big it is. But at one point Shane, uh, gumbo Mm -hmm. had, uh, measured it with like a a ruler and found out like it's eight inches. It's literally eight inches. And we're like, what the fuck? So I've been writing (laughs) it eight inch board. Like that's weird. Like, because I thought the B7 was an 8 inch board. You know, it had, it said 8.0 on it. So I'm like, wow, I wonder. So is that not even 8 inches? Is, is the B7 even skinnier than that? Which it probably oh, is. No. But there's a theory behind it, which is like throughout the years, I mean, it's been 20 years that Baker's been around making boards, but the press, uh, I don't know, something about it gets like slimmed down or something like throughout the years or mm-hmm. the more that they, they trace it or right. like. Shaves off or something. Uh, I don't know. The master template, fuck. you're saying? I mean, I guess so. Like, that's possible. I, hmm. I never really thought of that. Or, or they could have measured um, with like a flexible tape measure from the bottom. Because hmm. if you measure from the, the, the surface area to the bottom, or you can measure across on the top, the you top get a one's going to be a diff- different result. Maybe. Well, but I mean, for a fact, though, it, it felt skinnier. Yeah. Like, it just, huh. it just started no, feeling I, I can totally see that happening, though, with the, uh, yeah. the template shrinking. Yeah, exactly. Super weird. So anyway, I rode that B1 for 20 years, basically. I never switched shapes or nothing. I just rode that same shape. I didn't jump on the eight and a quarters or anything. Right. And and, and now it's like, it's funny because people clown me. They're like, God damn, what are you riding? Like a seven and a half or something? You know? <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, I mean, shit, this is this used to be big. Fuck. Right. But, uh, but anyway, so with the whole theory, like uh, coming into light about it getting skinnier, Andrew somehow like got a hold of like the the original template or hmm. or made a new one or something, but they just started making them again, and they called the C forty seven now the original name, and it's literally like it's what I've been missing the last like hmm. ten years or whatever. It's like that little fucking eighth of an inch or something yeah. where it's like so much more solid. Like oh everything's fun, you know, like way more fun skating now. So I ride that like that. C47 shape. It's like 8.19 okay. Baker board. And and also a new change is um, I switched from uh, independent trucks to venture trucks. And also, I don't, I don't know what's up with that, but I had heard that the, the independent uh, formula is like a little different now. I've heard it's like not as solid and it kind of seems that way. Like if it, it feels like it's lost its weight or something. Uh, me, I like a heavy truck. Oh, you do? I don't like a yeah, I don't like a, a like a hollow. Oh, you're not getting the hollow. Oh. No, I, I want like I uh, I might have mentioned before, but I, you know, I have a lot of mob, you know, when I do flip tricks and shit. <laughs> okay, and I need I need to weigh it down. <laughs> like I don't got you know I don't like just like yeah jump around like uh, 
flicking like Rodrigo or, or, uh, or you know, <laughs> right. like these guys and shit. So I need a heavy truck, you know, okay. the way the mob I down, see. you know, like, and uh, so I got, the adventures are, are seeming really solid these days. Did it, it did it mess up your, your tricks, though, switching the trucks? Because no. you're switching a whole new thing. No, yeah, it felt good. It felt it, good. It felt like, a, yeah, it felt like how, like, the the indies used to feel sometimes those changes are good though you know you change and you're like oh wow this this works good for me you know you skate something for 20 plus years oh yeah yeah to me it was almost like like changing back though you know it was like oh Oh. this is what i've missed the last 10 years all these little adjustments with these products that you're unaware of you know you kind of like you question it you're like yeah like shit ain't working like it did before but but yeah i feel like I got these heavy or like solid ventures now. Mm-hmm. With the, the nice wider uh, Baker board. I ride uh, the Shake Jump uh, Night Train bearings. It's a new mm-hmm. new Shake Jump bearing Night Train. It's the the, the newest technology. Okay. Very good. Yeah, and um, um, and I got dummy wheels. Dummy wheels. Uh, gotta have the dummies. Yep. What size yeah. wheel do you ride? I ride fifty two for the last uh, two years. Fifty twos. I did ride 51 for years, but 52 now. Bumped it up a millimeter. And why why did mean, you bump it up? Yeah. You know, it's kind of a good question, but it, it's like it becomes a 51 just after, Yeah. you know, a little bit of time. So, right. yeah. And then, and then I guess like also if you're like uh, traveling too, it's better to have just a little bit bigger wheels with all the crunchy uh, terrain that you, you know, mm-hmm. you're, about, you're about to see. Yeah. Are you? Right. Do you, you switch- go outside of California. Sorry, sorry. You go out, outside of California. Everything's crunchy. Right. <laughs> right. Like, well, you, well, you got the shake junk. You got the shake junk grip tape. Definitely, always shake junk. Grip you got tape, the yeah. big logo mm-hmm. shake junk, or you got the. Like, I, I like the big logo. logo. You got the big yeah. logo. Okay. Yeah. So, the Murdy, the Murdy grip. Yeah, uh, I, I'm riding the Murdy grip now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Murdy's got his own grip. It's still available. <laughs> Go to your local shop, get that Murdy grip. It's got his paw prints on it and shit. I love Murdy it. Murdy shakes on grip. But check it out. But before the Murdy grip, though, I was riding some very like fucking fancy grip tape that Shake Jump made. So many people were afraid of it, but it was called uh, the Magic Carpet Grip. I remember and that. It, it was like green yeah. and it was amazing. It like sparkled and shit. And it brought so much joy to to anybody like walking by that that even didn't didn't even skate like 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 kids with their parents and they'd be like oh my god like look at his grip tape <laughs> <laughs> like it's sparkling and like there'd be so many people like yeah, you could probably get like mad chicks actually riding this grip tape oh. <laughs> chicks would actually be like oh my god like what is that grip tape you know like it's sparkling it's like wow it's like the mesmerizing. Ruby. Yeah. It's a li- and so I rode the shit out of that grip for about two years and then they finally stopped making it because it just, uh, people were not like, like really buying it like other grip tape. People are just scared to death of some sparkly grip tape. It's like, yeah. I remember that. I remember that grip tape. Yeah. It was, it was I thought so it was a clean. cool idea. It was so clean, man. Like the people that, yeah, I, I don't mean to like diss anybody that doesn't want to ride the sparkly grip, but it's almost like, I mean, shit, if you don't, it's not in you then, you know, like you don't, you're not on that level of crispiness. Like, <laughs> go ahead, ride your black grip or whatever. This is some clean, crispy, like, like Houston wet paint, candy paint shit, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so anyway, I love that grip. But since that's gone right now. Back uh, to the Murdy mur- mur- grip. Get that Murdy grip, yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you have uh, a, a filmer board? Do you, do you swap out? Oh yeah, for sure. No, oh. I got the filmer setup. Yeah. So what's a, what's setup. your filmer setup? Oh yeah, man. Uh, Baker actually makes sick filmer boards, really sick mm. with the uh, with the wheel wells uh, sliced out already. Because, yeah. I mean, yeah, you never know if you're filming like bombing a hill or you got to sway around. You that's gonna help you a little bit. So, mm-hmm. and it's a sick wide board. So you know, I could be pushing, focusing on the you know the skater filming them. And not worry about my my foot like slipping off the board or something. Right. Nice wide, amazing shaped uh, Baker Cruiser board, um, and I got some uh, some uh, dummy soft wheels. Mm. And, what uh, size? Some fifty. They're fifty sixes. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and and they're actually they look they're white, so they look like real wheels. So if you happen to come mm. across a skate trick that you you could film, you could actually do it on this board, and it won't look like you're riding like a, a, a cruiser. <laughs> 
like funny uh, color board. It's like it almost would look like a real board or something. Right. And do you yeah. keep, do you take care of your your cruiser board, your filmer board, or do you just kind of throw throw it in the trunk and just kind of yeah, like let it be? It's dirty. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> okay. It's dirty. Yeah. It sometimes t- tail skid a little bit. Yeah. And- yeah, all this like I don't know soda spilled on the grip tape, and <laughs> that's what I kind of I kind of yeah, feel like filmers don't take care of like they just like that's their yeah. filming board. And they don't. There's no reason to take care. It's of in the it, trenches, right? dude. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. You let it let it go. Did you take care of your yeah, filming exactly. board? Did you? Oh yeah. Clean the bearings all the time. All the time. All the time. Gotta Damn. It. It's gonna perform for me. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. You got to keep up with them. You got to have the good bearings on yeah. it for sure. When you when you go on trips, do you bring one board and swap out the wheels or do you just bring two different boards? What I like to do on trips because yeah, you got to consolidate for the flights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I like to do is I strap um two decks, at least two decks. Uh like basically I'll I'll, I'll have uh for example, I'll have my um my street set up Mm-hmm. And I'll have like a deck like on top of that, and I and I strap that to my backpack. Mm-hmm. So I got the the board with the extra deck. And then once I get to the uh, destination, um, I got my my filmer trucks and wheels and riser pads. They're already detached, like in the backpack. Okay. So mm. so what I'll do once I get to the hotel, like okay, uh, take out the uh, the filmer trucks and wheels, put them on that extra deck that you brought so then you got boom the two completes already set up but the only sacrifice is um you're going to be riding an actual street deck and not the cruiser shape oh so you don't bring you don't bring the cruiser old exactly exactly that that's the only compromise while while traveling or at least on a on a flight you'll like you'll you'll ride the actual street board with the cruiser uh trucks and wheels and riser pads which is actually like almost as good yeah, it's but not, why don't you bring the cruiser board? Why don't you just disassemble it and pop the? You just don't want to travel it, with the old board. Yeah, and it just takes up uh, that space. More like room. you really, you want like if you're bringing a board, you might as well bring a board you can do tricks on. Yeah, of course, true. Yeah, dude, do you guys ever trip on this? When you guys go on trips, like you know, go in the airport, some airports trip out on you having your board in, mm-hmm. bringing mm-hmm. it in and all the time. It's always coming home. They always trip like. Mexico, even Bali, those two places, they're like, no, no. I'm like, all right, here, fucking take it. I'm going back home. Right, get, yeah. Get, some new, get a new setup or whatever. But whenever you leave Cali, it's always like, no question. Yeah, yeah it's so Thankfully. weird. I mean, Thank God it's like that, though. So you could actually bring your, your setup to Yeah, you can get it there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I, th- I think I, I would always just disassemble. I would just always bring boards disassembled. Like, I didn't want to deal with that and... You know, yeah. setting, yeah. you know, I just set up a board when I get there. Yeah, if they want me to check in, I just tighten down the wheels so that way it wouldn't just roll off the fucking uh, conveyor belt or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like they, they just have their, but it's so weird though because people are bringing skis and surfboards yeah. and all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. We, Dude, they're worried about a little skateboard? Chris, I, I, I uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I disassembled my board completely uh, last last time I traveled in uh, in February, right before the uh, the virus came. Mm. Um, I was on a trip in uh, Mexico city and on the way home, I, I try to like prepare for that. Just like you, I'm like, oh, I'll just completely disassemble this. And they still, they like, they grab my, uh, my trucks out of my backpack. And it's like, no, what you, really? Yeah. Like, like you could like stab a pilot's temple <laughs> with that, with, with the axle of your trucks. Oh, my <laughs> I mean, if, if you really wanted to, I guess, but, uh, but yeah, but the only way to avoid that is, uh, disassemble everything and put it in the check-in. No, that's what I do. Yeah. That's why I was putting yeah. my check-in. Yeah. Dude. That's because right. when I'm carrying stuff on, I just want my essentials. You know, I want my little iPod. I want my phone. I want my i like my computer. You know, I don't want all that like skate gear. Yeah. Put it in the belly. You of the still plane. Don't, you still don't have an iPod, do you, Chris? <laughs> Yeah, I got the uh, the iPod, the shuffle, the little no shuffle. Way. Remember the remember the little shuffle? No way! No. You can't just see what actually, I I do have that at home. I don't use it, but uh, Damn, I have the tight, I have man. the original iPhone at home, and I have the shuffle and the iPod, the one with the little uh, the scroll, the scroll wheel. The scroll Hold scroll on wheel. That one. Damn. Yeah, like a fat one or skinny one. Fat. Oh wow! Yeah, first generation. Dude. First generation. Yeah. 
Click wheel. Click Good wheel. job, man. I'm, that's <laughs> Held sick. Held on to those. <laughs> have it. Yeah. Damn, Vintage. that's rad. <laughs> Vintage. I almost want to try my iPhone 1 and see if it, you know, the silverback, see if it works. Oh, my God. That's rad. Like 2000, 2001 or something, right? Is that 2001? Something like that, huh? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was 2005. Late. Yeah, it's got to be after yeah. I was in high school. 2005, 2003. Like that's that. crazy. Wow. Yeah. What are you sipping on, dog? Do wine? I got a... I, no, I got some Pinot Grigio uh, white wine uh, for the summertime. Yeah, <laughs> usually a red wine or beer, but uh, yeah, the the summertime brings the white white wine. <laughs> oh, nice. I love it. Could do rosé. Thanks. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, pink wine. I'll yeah. do that. Rosé all day. <laughs> pink wine. <laughs> <laughs> well listen yeah. dude like baker four we just talk about traveling and all that stuff like any any like most memorable trips you've been on that stick out to you or something like throughout the years or maybe just in recent years or what about like looking back at those tapes have did that bring back oh, any yeah. memories it definitely of like something that happened back in the day that you totally forgot about not off the top of my head right now yeah yeah, yeah. um but uh yeah, little things, little things. Uh, like, I don't know, little things. Like, fucking, uh, I totally forgot. Like, this episode tonight is this got like, we're at the Carlsbad Gap, and, and Antoine is trying to inward heel flip the Carlsbad Gap. Oh, shit. Landing on it. Yeah, it's so epic. Like, almost landed it. And then Dustin actually almost frontside heel flipped the Carlsbad Gap. What? Yeah, I'm like, holy shit, these two are just hucking down this gap right now. Gnarly. But at the beginning of the session, like I'm, I'm just filming Lizard, and I, I don't remember like it's like little things I, I forget about. Like, like Lizard is just like he might have smoked uh, like too much on, in, in the van on the way over there or something. But he's just like, he's like, dude, I'm done. He's like, I can't even ollie like if I wanted to or whatever. And I just start filming him, and he just starts laughing for like five minutes. Like he's just so baked. And I'm like, that's funny. I don't even remember that. Like. <laughs> that lizard came to the Carlsbad Gap and like couldn't even like ride his board and shit. What? Like wow, dude. I yeah, little it. things like that. No, little things. I love hearing <laughs> the stories of. I wish the riders could have landed the trick, mm. but hearing the stories like, oh, that dude tried it, almost did it. Yeah. To me, is pretty rad to hear behind the scenes. Yeah, because sometimes yeah. you do hear about stuff like that, but then you don't, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like you can do a whole episode flip? of the show with that. Yeah, inward yeah. heel flip. Like yeah. what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm actually. Rad. I'll watch. The, I'm gonna watch that tonight. Cause yeah, I, hell yeah, Kelly. Yeah, that sounds sick. But like, what? Did he landed on it and just couldn't roll away, or what? Yeah, he actually went there uh, at least two different times, and and this tape is just just one time there. Hmm. He landed on it like three times. He one time he fell forward, and another two times he like slid back. Oh man, I, I'm I'm not sure why, but um, what happened with Dustin's yeah. front front side heel flip? Oh man, he fucking actually he breaks the the tail landing on it. Oh shit! So it's like the 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 front of the board snaps what? down. Like, psh, yeah, the front of the board. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, full commitment it. to to tail. Psh, what? Yeah. Did he ride? A, yeah. Did he roll? Or did not he? at all. He just oh he oh so not. hard. Oh he falls so hard, man. Damn. Yeah, dude, Dustin is so gnarly, man. Oh my god. He's Total stunt man, like, and he's such a he's a he's a small dude. Yeah, like he's not like a big dude. He's just a small guy, yeah. you know. And what what I notice about him too, when he when he's trying the front heel or, or anything else, you, there's no like sign of fear. Like there's no like, fuck, you guys ready? Are you ready? <laughs> are you guys ready? It's just like he's just like walking up with his shades on. He's just like, ah, here we fucking go. Right. Boom. Just like toss himself. Like whatever's gonna happen. <laughs> Roll the dice. Toss? You know. Yeah, like roll the dice. Like, it's so rad. He's really brave, man. Really brave, Dustin. Dude, that's great. Do people trip out skating with him? Like, because there's like someone like yeah. me who is so like, all right, I got it right here, and you have to do like Re Reynolds. You know, he has like his yeah. things he does. Yeah, you ready? You yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is that does? Have you seen two people skate with each other? And it's like, oh, they do not should not skate with each other, like on certain spots. No, I mean, uh, they all get a. I mean, I don't they get along. Everybody has their own madness. Yeah, they all yeah. got their own madness, and they 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 understand other people's madness. You know, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been pretty smooth. Like everyone's skating together with it, dude. But um, yeah. But yeah, Kelly, like you said, um, how you admire just like the footage of people like just trying tricks. You know, mm -hmm. like I I feel the same way. You know, I, I feel like show these these uh, this footage of people trying shit because you'll never know that they tried that. You know, yeah. you'll never know. 
like some of these spots are gone, you know, like yeah. Carl's back app or whatever. And it's like, you would have had no idea that he actually almost did that, which is almost just as fun to watch, you know? Yeah. Totally. And man. it's the history of skating also, you know, you're, you've documented all these yeah. guys attempting something, attempting yeah. these tricks that yeah. if, if you didn't put them out, they'd, they'd never be seen. Like those yeah, tapes yeah. would just fade away and probably, you know, d- d- disintegrate. Yeah, no, for real. Yeah, and it's it's not always a happy ending. It's mm. like that's what happened, you know. That's yeah. that's history. It's life. Totally. That's skateboarding, man. Well, could have should up. I've seen somebody uh, like wrote a comment like on the YouTube, like, "Why are you showing tricks that you didn't land?" You know, like, <laughs> makes no sense. But I'm like, I don't even like bother responding. Don't, to don't bother. People. Don't, don't yeah, bother. yeah, yeah like, I know. Because it's like for someone yeah, like, like our, all of us watching those videos back in the day to see what was going on oh yeah and what didn't make the cut or wasn't in there sometimes it's like so fun to watch now yeah. you know to know that yeah, was going rad. on yeah. it's the real behind the scenes yeah dude all. that's so exactly. rad thank you for doing that yeah. dude yeah. and sometimes no, thanks, the best part yeah. is letting the other fans school that person yep you know it's like, oh, yeah. I'm not even going to bother responding because I know that five <laughs> yeah. other people are going to be like, yo, yeah. you're, you're an idiot. Yeah, you're an idiot. No, for sure. Not no, an idiot, sure. but just uneducated on why he's showing Uneducated. These you know, it's like, hey, yeah, could, exactly. could, could be a new, you know, 12 year old kid that just started skating. Yep. Why are you showing all these bales? Why are you watching? Totally. Them? No, yeah. totally. Well, yeah, came new, up on his new feed. people every day. Man, Beagle, dude. <laughs> Hijinks net. What's yep. next, dude? You got the Murdy.com. You got fucking Hijinks yeah. net. I just, em- uh, yeah, Empire. Shrimp the dog. Shrimp Blunt. Thanks. Yeah, Shrimp Blunt is, uh, we're working on Shrimp Blunt, the Shake Jump video. And other than that, there will be um, a Baker promo video. Ooh. It was, you know, originally, um, you know, late last year, we were thinking, oh, shit, we're going to have this promo done by this summer. Mm-hmm. But then, of course, like the virus kind of like affected travel and stuff like that. So, It'll probably be soon. It might be by the end of this year, but there'll mm. be a, a a Baker promo with a most likely a sick Jacopo part, yeah. sick a Zach yeah. Allen part. Yeah, like the 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 AMs that are on Baker, like mm-hmm. you know, get get them some good parts out there. Yeah, because those kids rip. Is there a chance to step up? Yeah, too? man, huh? Is there a chance to step up? I mean, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Jacopo, Yakima, whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, Jac- yeah. I, we call him Jacopo. Yeah, I, I, I met Jacopo like years <laughs> ago in Milan. Oh, wow, was sick, dude. Yeah, I was skating dude. with them with feds and all these dudes. A uh, little kid ripping, you know, and it's yeah, he so little. Dude, little. And it's so rad to see him because it was kind of out of left field. All of a sudden, they got Jacopo on there. I'm like, whoa, that's a trick. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and, and, and for Baker, you know, like, they never really put on any um, like European skaters. It just yeah. it just never happened. But yeah, like yeah, Jacopo, man, like he's we we call him the king of Italy. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day he's like posting on Instagram like shit that he should definitely save for a video part. Right. You know? it's yeah. like, I- Whoa, but he's so aggressive and the the, the tech the technical and power he has. It's like yeah, this is the the new breed of Baker that we need, you know, like, yes. Yeah. Good, yeah. So that's really how you good, say his name. Jacopo. Jacopo. Yeah. Or, not, or yak. 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 Sure, whatever. yak. 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 Did you guys yeah, see a clip Jacopo. recently? He did nolly flip, no slide, nolly flip out, nolly yeah, front dude. side flip out over the, the uh, dude, Milan thing. I didn't see that. Instagram, man. Straight yeah. up. Like, Wait a minute. That's over like, the great. Gnarly. The ledge on top of the ledge. You oh, do, the ledge on top. And you pop over yeah. the ledge. He did nolly flip, no slide, nolly front side flip out. Like, Three yeah. times. Wow. Well, yeah, like over the two block, two block style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, he's so, so rad. Good. And like you said, it's rad yep. to you know get some international dudes on there. Yeah. Is is this a who does the art direction for? Does Reynolds still do that? Because I really enjoy seeing the, the random images of like it was like Jacopo just and it was like him talking and then oh, I had the yeah. Baker thing going into like uh, Cater's ear. Or is that what I it like was? that too. I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like seeing the images with just the Baker font on there. It looks rad. You know that particular one. I don't know if An- if that was Andrew's idea, but but Andrew does like oversee a lot of artwork, but also uh, Spanky's really involved in in a lot of graphics. Oh, Spanky. He makes a, a lot of Baker graphics and boards now. Right. That's, awesome. That's so yeah. cool, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. wasn't Neckface involved with that too? Yep. Isn't he involved oh, in yeah. some art direction? For sure, yeah. There's always like a like a neck face like art series yeah, or board yeah, series okay. or something. But but yeah, he's always uh, 
Andrew definitely uh, in the mix. Yeah, it admires Neck's uh, Neck Face opinion on on art and stuff like that. For so. sure. And fucking yeah. Reynolds just got Vans. I shit. know. So <laughs> sick. Stoke for him. Wow, it's cool. What are you doing? You what are you? Are you rocking Vans now? What are you doing? Over there? You got the? <laughs> you you still got the Adidas going or what? Still got the Adidas, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, love love the Adidas, man. I don't know if I'll ever stop rocking Adidas. What do you good. What do you got? The shell toes? Are you are you the shell toes? No, shell toes are definitely dope that's one of the coolest looking shoe but i'm i'm actually i've been skating in this shoe the last year it it's kind of like a limited shoe it's like a, a number like a like a zero zero three four hmm. three st or ST. something like yeah. that. yeah 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 but yeah my uh our good friend uh nikolai who rides for adidas in, in weekend uh he was skating them a lot and I noticed them like I I call them the Nikolai shoes or whatever, but <laughs> okay. yeah, they're they're dope. They got like yeah, great support. And you can mm. feel your board good. Yeah, it's good. I like these. Damn. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> Last ones I rode before that were the booze knits or whatever, but but yeah, these are kind of similar. Adidas. Speaking of Nikolai, look out for the new uh, Nikolai is going to have a um, a skate part. It, it's a it's a shake junt skate part. It's going to be on Thrasher though. It might be within the next two weeks or something, but oh, okay. Um, but it's a VX part. Um, yeah, I, I filmed a few things in there, and then uh, Grant from the weekend filmed some things. Oh, but it's a sick OG VX uh, shake jump part. It's coming on Thrasher Nikolai. Since you filmed the Baker video, Baker Four in HD, but you're still on the VX. Can you do both? You you still carry? Do you carry both around with you, yeah. or what do you do? Dude, Roger, when, when was the last time you held a VX? It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long it's time. It's insane how light it is, dude. Oh, it's yeah. insane. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I would think it because I was filming a little bit of Nikolai's part this this past year, and that's when I broke it out. But it's like, what the fuck? You don't even feel it. Like after using that that Panasonic HVX with the mm. extreme lens, and you gotta like do push ups before you film just to like <laughs> yeah. get the stability. It's like, dude. Uh, Dude, it's almost like a like a necklace or something. The VX, you know, just like oh, fucking, <laughs> it's so light, dude. It, it's FS5 awesome. Yet? But what is it? FS5 Sony. Is oh, that, a little tiny body with interchangeable lenses. It feels just no. as light as a VX. Hmm. Oh, dude, I got some kind of new Sony, but I don't think it's the FX5. FS5. FS5. I don't think it's that though. Um, it's in my car right now, but, uh, but that sounds cool. Did people film fish with that or no? Oh yeah. Hmm. Sick dude. You have both cameras when you go out on a, on a session. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, now I own a lot of cameras now. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, and they're all for just different little circumstances or like darknesses or, hmm. or whatever, like straight up, like, uh, the last few years, you know, I've been using this, uh, GH4 Lumix GH4. Mm hmm you know, it's got the Metabones adapter with a Rokinon lens. It makes it really fish. Hmm. That's been really fish for me. I like that. Now, about a year ago, Andrew, he really liked the way that the the HVX uh, extreme lens, that $3,000 heavy lens, yeah. he liked the way that was looking. And I never got that lens because it's so expensive yeah. and you wouldn't want to get it scratched or whatever. <laughs> but But he insisted – uh, about like maybe like a year or eight months before the Baker four deadline. He was like, I really like the way this looks like we're going to get you this extreme lens. I want you to use this. Hmm. And I started, so I've been using that, which a lot of people have been using for years. So I just, just started with the extreme lens and everyone always told me like, get the extreme lens, dude, get the extreme lens. Now that I used it, honestly, I, I personally feel like it's not as fish as my GH4 with the Metabones adapter. Hmm. I feel like I feel like I could kind of cut off heads a little more with the with the extreme lens and the HVX. Are you surprisingly using HVX 200 or are you doing the HVX? It's a two o. It's a two o five a. It's a okay, the um, newer one. You know, it's older. It's it's got the the digital tapes that go in there too. Uh, like V, it takes VX tapes. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Really. No. Yeah, dude. I'll fly. I'm gonna flex this real quick too. Yeah, <laughs> Cause, cause, yeah. Yeah, because uh, it's got the junt. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. The, that's the updated version of the VX, uh, the HVX 200. 
It's not updated though. It's got uh yeah the the tape yeah the the, the tape's it's, going two hundred as like, well. Really, because um yeah all the other ones I see they the, don't have the tape the, or they're like the lighter. HPX uh, one seventy doesn't have that. Okay, word. Yeah, I like this one because yeah. I mean it's it's okay. definitely old school. I it's think it's one of the great. <laughs> it's painted Dude, great. Yeah, yeah. you have Dude, to have all your you got the the VX painted that same. Is it the same exactly. colorway? Same colorway? Exactly. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The same colorway. And it's uh, my same uh, good friend painted it, Aaron Aaron Burgundy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who who basically just stepped his game up to HD now. So yeah. anybody <laughs> watching this, that I mean, obviously he'll still paint your VX at a good price. But if you got an HVX and you're like, fuck, I want that that nice paint job, you know, or candy you know candy. whatever. Uh, yeah, candy candy paint. Then hit him up also, cool. uh, Aaron Burgundy on uh instagram and he'll he'll paint the hbx too but still this is one of the only ones that he's done but check it out that's sick uh you know how like when you film uh the homies and they're like you know they film like a real uh line they're like hey let me let me film that on my iphone you know oh, so that they can yeah. they could go home and, and they could watch it over and over like i would do the same thing but when they do that they're seeing like like this like you're filming with the iPhone, this and it's like, it's shake like your junk. own watermark. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like shake junk borders. <laughs> right, right, right. Whoa, <laughs> damn, that's crispy, <laughs> dude. That's pretty yeah, sick. Man, yeah. I, 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 thanks, man. I would love to get a camera just to get it painted. I don't even use a camera. <laughs> no, hey, no, that's pretty clean, man. We pretty should clean. get a. I did, what do I, what camera do I use? All the what six that are here. Well, I don't use them. Raj <laughs> turns them on. It's not like I'm Point fucking out there. Use but them every uh, day. You should get them all black and orange. Dude, we should get a black and orange. Ca- we should have Aaron oh, do a black yeah. and orange VX. Yeah. yeah. No. Dude, I can HD. see it on the shelf. I can see it on the shelf. You can right see it on the shelf. Right yeah, dude. That would wow. be good. That would be sick. You guys you would use be Kelly's extra man, sick, sold it. man. I sold it to the weekend dudes. <laughs> they stole it. Well, I, I uh, They did steal it accidentally, and then they paid me for it. So it's all good. Imagine taking <laughs> apart a <laughs> oh, whole shit. camera like that's that and putting it back together. Wow. I know. Yeah, he's a fucking rocket scientist, man. It's probably uh, what car paint. Yeah, it is. So it is. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Real yeah. shit. Real shit. Damn. So, so anyway, like, yeah, I use my Lumix and I use that mm-hmm. camera there, and uh, and then I also got um, yeah, that new uh, Sony. Um, man, I forgot what kind of Sony it is, but it, it it's shaped like a HVX. It films 1080. 60 frames so it's like really crispy for a long lens huh but yeah i'll switch off like i'll, I'll use that that shake junk camera a lot mm-hmm. but it's still set that's still only 720p and uh oh. but still the like <clears throat> the only bad part is if the sun has like a gnarly glare you'll almost see like a laser or the something uh, yeah the streak yeah. like they'll you'll still get that so that's when that happened a lot with those h um HVXs. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The HVXs. Yeah. The, yeah, that, that you'll see the streak and that's when I'll be like, oh, let me bring out my Lumix GH4 for this. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a like a golfer with different clubs and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the camera quiver. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. how I, I feel now. I feel like I got like six different cameras like, hmm, hold on. Like, <laughs> testing the wind. <laughs> this will take the... Uh, Lumix GH4. <laughs> so you you pack all that into into your bag. You have every camera that you take it out on the session. I take two in one bag, and then I got another backpack with other cameras. So okay. Bring two bags. Leave one in the trunk. Right. If you find out like oh shit like you're gonna try this trick over there with that light. Uh, hold on, let me skate to the car real quick. Get get my other backpack or some worst case scenario. I feel like the last time you were here two and a half years ago, like you were just VX. He just switched no, over at no. that point. He was, yeah, I was shooting bigger uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oh, you had just switched. That's right. No, That's right. No, but you, you did ask me then uh, if I had to pick for the rest of my life, what would it be? Right. But it was still not the VX, surprisingly. <laughs> like, just because, like, just the quality. But, oh, my God, it would be a blessing to... Only film with the VX, so light, dude. Like, but up until that point, you were just VX. Up no, until no, Baker, no, was, till, till, till we started filming for Baker Four, like uh, a couple years before the last interview. Yeah. If you want light, or, just like, go for a GoPro. I know those are nice. <laughs> I like that. I use. have a I have a Hero Eight also. Oh, do you? Or whatever. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. Yeah, they're hard to use though. But the stabilization is awesome. Oh, is it? Yeah. Huh. I pretty much only use it to film Murdy. 
or whatever just, you know really get close under the under the grind with the little paws and, <laughs> you should put it on the back know. of his head dude. a little murdy cam yeah dude we'll call oh, yeah yeah good idea yeah i yeah. like to see a little murdy pov yeah. <laughs> Whole holy that. shit <laughs> That'd be rad, dude. So uh, one question I had about the, the hijinks net. So you release one a week. I, I I feel like sometimes you would do two a week or something. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one a week every Thursday. But what happened was when the virus hit, you know, people were locked up okay. and they, they demanded more. They demand. They're like this. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> like listen to the audience. Of, you gotta listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give yeah, them what they want. This, for real. Yeah. So we did, I mean, we did for, I feel like two months uh, we hmm. we put out an episode every Tuesday too. So okay. every Tuesday, every Thursday, it definitely like kind of uh, consumed a little more like my time, you know, making two yeah. episodes a week totally. or whatever. But you know, after it, it happened for like a month, I just we noticed like you know the views kind of dropped. Like it was right. almost like too much. It was like just too much to keep up with. So we're like, all right, that was fun. That was cool. They got to a little spoiled a little bit. But now we're going to take it back where they could appreciate, you know, the one a week, you know, Thursday. It's funny, Beagle, because that was the whole thing. It's like when the when all this pandemic hit and people were asking us like, oh, dude, your views must be through the roof because everybody's at home watching and they have nothing else better to do. And it's Andrew. not the case. You know, first all our views went down, you know, like you're what? saying your, really? your views oh, yeah. went down. Like but I thought it went down just cause we, we doubled up on the episode. I think like, it was, I think it's just because of the whole thing. Like people aren't consuming that, like, like they're home with their families. Yeah. Like they're doing, like they're not at work watching. Like mm. for our show, we thought like, okay, well they're not at work. They're not watching the thing. And then we were just doing the whole zoom thing. And it's like, Oh, they had meetings all day on zoom. Now they're going to watch a fucking zoom show. Like yeah. it just yeah. kind of like, yeah. it kind of, uh, yeah. and they're not driving anywhere either. And they're not driving, listening to it on the, yeah. so I feel like uh, maybe some type of media went up, but yeah. others Netflix went, went Netflix. To the roof. well, yeah, Netflix, Tiger, Tiger King, King. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> podcast in general might have went down. Yeah, it's less driving and shit. Yeah. Like I'm a big Howard Stern fan and I haven't been listening Same. to Howard Stern because I'm not driving mm. around it yeah. anymore. Yeah. So my hours in Howard Stern went down. So I don't know. Mm. I think I think you I think it's the YouTube thing. I think a lot of people weren't consuming like skate mm. shit, you know? Yeah. They're like, they're, like I said, they're with their fam. They're all stuck at home with their family, sharing yeah. the same computer. Shit, maybe, yeah, you're but right. the yeah, once maybe. a week thing is good, though. I think the once a week thing's good, you know? Yeah. 2,500, that's a lot of weeks. Yeah, dude. Thanks. That's <laughs> a lot of weeks. You're going to run out of episodes. No, 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 you won't. <laughs> how many, no, uh, that's funny. How many subscribers yeah. do you have now? Uh, tw uh, 26,000. Ooh. Dude. I mean, that's, I mean, it, it, it sounds, I don't know. It, to me, it still seems kind of small. That's impressive, dude, because I remember, like, you launched it, um, what, six, eight months ago? Or January, yeah. January. Yeah. So, yeah, You've seven months You've grown ago. that channel quite a bit since how, the beginning. Thanks, how, how many yeah. subs did you have in January? Because it was already a Beagle channel. It was like 3,000 or something like that. Okay, yeah, it was, it was uh, nearly 3,000. Yeah, dude. it was like 2,500 or 2,200. You've had yeah. 23,000 people sign up. Yeah, it's rad, man. It's incredible. Yeah, it's rad. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm dude, glad to hear you, you guys got, think that's good. Three, three years like, from yeah, now, you're going to have a plaque. Three more. <laughs> dude, you need to do, uh, I don't know if you already do, do you need to do channel memberships. What is that? So channel memberships is people can subscribe to your channel and you could set different tiers. You could set like a one ninety nine a month or four ninety nine or nine ninety nine, and you could offer oh. them different perks, right? So you could say like oh. the one ninety nine is just to, you know, a ten percent off our website or whatever, just oh, to support. Gotcha. Yeah. And then four ninety nine, yeah. you could give them like members only content where if if oh, they pay shit. for four ninety nine a month, you could yeah. get you could release episodes early. just for members yeah. or early, like Raj says. Yeah. Like release oh, them early. There's like oh. there's a lot of things to do. Look into that. I like that. What 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 do you, was that option that you said? Channel What's it called? Channel memberships. Channel channel memberships yeah sick it's on the youtube cool. it's on the uh monetization well, he, he probably has enough subscribers to be eligible for i that. think it's thirty thousand. i don't know though check yeah. it check your channel oh red uh, see if you're okay. see if it's available and if you're not subscribing go subscribe yeah go subscribe yeah 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 help like, help subscribe. me get to that help me get <laughs> no, but to that. Going back to, like 23 <laughs> things net yeah dude 23 you gotta think about this though beagle let's think about this like you're twenty three thousand people 
That's like an arena. Yeah, think about that. That's in real an life. arena. That's, of, yeah. that's like uh, everybody going to watch a Laker Dodgers game. game or something. Yeah. Like that. Is and, that how many people are at a Laker game? I mean, somewhere 20, around 000? there. 20,000, 20, 18,000. Somewhere around there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, you got to look at it that way. Cool. All right. Dude. Yeah. And if you if you put out one video a week with all the tapes you had, I looked into it. You have enough t- tapes for 48 years. <laughs> 48 years. <laughs> yeah. like, so you got, Your channel's not going anywhere. Yeah. Your channel's like, not going man. anywhere. Like, you got Thanks, lots yeah. of content. You could probably double yeah. it up. Even though you thought it might not do good. I think yeah. if you found out that routine of like yeah. whenever it is, kind of like how we do the experience and nine club. Yeah, like, you could do one on Tuesday and uh, Thursdays. Yeah. And long as they know that's what time to go, over time they'll show up more and more. Just and don't more. overlap the nine club, we're, man. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Yeah, we're, we're both doing our, our different thing. You know, it's great. I love yeah. it, dude. Yeah. I love yeah. it, man. Got to join your chat. I like that. I like that. We're going after this. Thanks, yeah, man. We're going after. I know. Oh, shit. yeah. You got to go in a little bit, dude. It's almost chat time. Oh, shit. Yeah. 725. Sick. Do you do a little? I, do. I know you do. You said you do a little pregame. You do a little cactus burrito or whatever. Share it with, yeah. share it with Murdy. Murdy's not there. So maybe this is a, yeah. you have a little different little pregame. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, yeah, it depends. Um, yeah, I might run over to Cactus still if okay. I have a minute. <laughs> okay. If not, I'll just go over there right after. It's I don't casual. know, though. Maybe our pregame is a little different than your pregame. Our pregame, because our episodes are two hours. Your episodes are like 15 minutes. So I got to I got to know I'm going to be on the computer for 2 hours doing the chat. Yeah, all your oh, shit. yeah I got my bevs, I got my I got to take a nap beforehand. I got to go yeah. like, I got to this whole thing. Nah, good job, man. 2 hour uh, premiere chat. That's yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty gnarly. It's, it's a lot it's of fun. typing and yeah. shit. It is fun. A lot though. of engaging, yeah. That's awesome, Chris. Sick. Good times, dude. Yeah, like uh keep it up, dude. Thanks, yeah, man. It's awesome. Thanks, bro. guys. It's yeah. a lot of work. You're, you're filming out in the streets and doing that. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Depressing. Keep it up. You're stoking out a lot of people. Thank you, dude. Um, we do have a um, on the Hijink Snet um, uh, edit from the Mexico City trip that I went on in February mm. with Herm and uh, Herm and Reno and a couple other uh, skaters, uh, James Coleman from Florida. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Oh, so that'd be awesome. uh, something to look forward to. So wait a minute. Yeah. You you said that you edit an episode the night before it comes out? The I I'll wake up the morning before. Okay, the like most, uh the but, morning before. Yeah. Literally it, it, it takes like pretty much 8 hours. Wow. The fucking like really like put the intro, the text and the names, right. the slow moves at the end or, or like find the tape. First you got to capture the tape. Sometimes dude it's insane uh, capturing tapes these days. Like the, like you'll see, it's like technology wants the VX tapes to end so bad. <laughs> oh, true. Like I, I I updated um my um what I edit with Premiere, mm-hmm. Adobe Premiere. I updated that like recently, and I go to plug in my my tape deck, and it's like the. Well, read it. Yeah, yeah. The or there's two options. There's like a fucking like a like a VX option. I forgot what they call it. HDR or HD something mm-hmm. or whatever. But like that option just like, isn't there. And it's like, it, it won't even, it won't even read uh, the VX player in Adobe. And yeah. so I figured that out and I like, I uninstalled that right. the newest version I installed a late, uh, older version. And it's like, all right, there it is. It pops it up. Huh. But yeah, it's like, it's crazy. It's not simple to capture tapes. Like it's not like, Oh, it's, like plug in the tape player and record. It's like there's like middlemen. There's like middlemen hard drives that make it acknowledge the tape player, and it's it's crazy. It's Coach like hires. a yeah, man. It's crazy. It takes a couple hours just to capture the tape, and then you got to slice it up or whatever. So yeah. it's like a good day to put together an episode. Well, how long are those tapes, Raj? Two hours? Not that, like sixty minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah one d- hour. One hour. They're only an hour. T- okay, unless so you, unless you shot an like LP. So it takes about an hour and some change to, to, to transfer the tape over. At least, because there'll be like some like little glitches that you don't even oh. see, but, it, but it'll pick up and it'll just stop capturing. Mm-hmm. Oh. You're like, oh, fuck, rewind. And you'll, you'll try that eight times, that one clip. Like, okay, oh, God, it's sick. You know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> little geez. things like that. You got to uh, yeah. click the, uh, for the not to stop during time code break. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try that. Maybe it'll mm-hmm. avoid the. It'll keep going. Little, yeah, right, but cool. still, you might miss that little p 
pee and then you got to go back anyway to get it seems like no. a whole thing so what happens when, when the the tape breaks time code whatever it uh -huh. stops the machine from re recording it but if you yeah. turn it off turn that feature off oh. or that uh glitch whatever won't fuck up the right because he's not worried about time code no he's just worried about yeah, clips exactly. yeah Oh, yeah. little 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 uh, capture setting uh, trick yeah, there. Yeah, uh, because that's a uh, because that would suck. You 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 start recording and you go out to get a cactus burrito and you come back and it's all, <laughs> it's only done. it was like ten minutes. Yeah. yeah, no, that's the whole thing. You can't leave. Yeah, like like yeah, you can't you can't go to the other room. You have to like watch it. Like oh, when did it stop? Mm -hmm. capturing this like oh fuck they went to this section yeah here's the thing beagle it's funny because the reason i asked you is you do it the night before the day before <laughs> i because i edit the the night like raj puts all the nightclub stuff together and then i edit it and then i give it back to raj but i find yeah. that if if i edit it like on a friday right and our episode's mm -hmm. going to come out on a monday and raj still has to do his stuff the audio and whatever the oh, youtube yeah. shit yeah i i have to do it like yeah. if i do it on a friday i have to get it done but if i try to edit it on a tuesday or a wednesday or a thursday like in the, time. in the back of my head i'm like oh i got time yeah. i don't yeah. need to do it you know and then i fully don't commit yeah you know yeah we're on the same thing exactly yeah. you, you you're pushing it to the last minute because you're gonna have Ro roger add some you know, yeah, he's got to do his shit. Or, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, but you can't like, deliver to me late. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now I, I actually just upload the whole thing now. Like I used to have a little bit of help, but like now that's why I do Wednesday. Cause just like you said, like I have to do You've it. You've got to do it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, exactly. Sometimes that, that pressure, sometimes it's just, you get it done. You get it done. I'll be up till four in the morning. Sometimes Beagle editing, finishing yeah, up an episode. Man. Yeah. That's rad. Props I'll get a text from man. him like while I'm waking up. Yeah, good work, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Working hard out there. I know, bro. You want to edit? Nine club <laughs> stuff? Fuck no. <laughs> we, can, we, can <laughs> we can keep you busy. <laughs> oh my God. I got no extra time for editing. Let me tell you man. something, Beagle. It sounds what? like it takes me an hour shorter to edit the nine club. Seven but hours, you saying? No, no, no. Because I, I can edit in nine club in about... Uh, five five hours really god yes. with all that listening and shit sometimes oh <laughs> sometimes it's a lot easier hours. than you think yeah because all i'm doing uh, is camera cuts really yeah. so i'm wow. just cutting the cameras and moving the bars over and cutting a camera again and moving the bars over you know what i mean yeah. so you guys just line up the claps yeah and then just yeah i give him everything rad. synced up and then he just kind of closes gaps yeah i just kind of go boop, 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 boop. You know, move every move all little lines over and then cut yeah. camera cuts. You guys are pro as fuck. That's rad, Chris. But Raj. in the in the sense of it all, Raj, I guess it takes way longer than that because then you have to do your thing oh, to yeah. it. So us us combined, it probably takes ten hours, yeah. ten or twelve hours to do a whole nine club episode. That's right. Hell yeah, man! A lot of work, a lot of perfection. So we're ready to dish that off to you if you're ready. <laughs> 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 Woo! There's a lot of fucking. People that would love that, love to have that, but not me. <laughs> Beagle, dude, this has been so fun. I know you got to get to your your chat in a little bit, dude. Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. We need to get there too. We need to wrap things up Thanks, over guys. here, dude. Sick. Anything else that we need to f talk about, or what do you got? Anything, Murdy? What are, what other um, plugs do we got? Murdy dot com. What, what's it? Go what's get a the dog website? leash. Murdy dog leash is tight. Oh, shake oh, junt. Yeah. Murdy dog leash. What's the secret yeah, to a good yeah. margarita? Oh man, I, I only made margaritas one time for the uh, King of the Road event back in the day. But right. I mean, the best margarita is the Cadillac margarita. You you get the regular margarita with the shot of a uh, Grand Marnier. Yeah. Yeah. It's Grand like a little Marnier. orange flavor and that much more potent. That's mm -hmm. the best margarita, Cadillac margaritas. But uh, but yeah, fucking check out the MurdyTheDog.com. That's it, Murdy the Dog. Murdy the Dog. Uh, check out Hijinx Net YouTube. Um, uh, be on the lookout for the new Shake Junt Shrimp Blunt video yes. early next year. It's going to be a Baker promo coming soon. Um, that's mainly what I'm working on. And if you want to book, if, if you want to book me, uh, I know it's kind of hectic with uh, the virus right now, but if you need a DJ for any of your skate events, birthday parties, whatever, you can email me at uh, beagle number one ism at yahoo.com. Wait a minute. Beagle number one what yeah yeah here's what happened somebody else stole uh 
what I like to type uh, Beagle O N E ism Beagle one. Yeah, Beagle one is it? Yeah, exactly. So I I I had to put a Beagle uh, number one. Oh, so Beagle yeah, the like, number yeah. one is yeah, number one ism at Yahoo. Yeah. Gotcha. And I'm and I'm glad that uh, DJ any events. It's been uh, I, I've been DJing a lot lately. I love doing it, but we haven't had the the gigs at the bar yeah. like we used to. So. Have you, you done like any sort of Zoom too? DJing yet? He just downloaded it tonight, Rush. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> Not nah, true. Yeah, I got the Zoom now. Now nah, we'll see. Maybe work some kind of uh, DJ hustle through the Zoom. But listen, Beagle, dude, doing it. Thanks, man. DJing, Baker promo, shrimp blunt, hijinks. Man, you're a busy man. Thanks. Wait, no more Thanks. Ubering. No more lifting. No, no, because uh, <laughs> because I got more uh, DJ gigs about two years ago. Okay. So, you know, like I, I'll make like, you know, $200 DJing in oh. like three, four hours, boom. you know, and, and one night, boom, real quick. But like Uber driving or Lyft driving, you might see $200. It might take like 10 hours or yeah, something like that. So, right. So, yeah. So, yeah, I just I stopped doing that a couple of years ago and just do the DJ on the side now. But it seemed like you had fun Ubering and stuff because you'd find spots and you'd skate them and you'd put your phone <laughs> up and you'd do your shit. I did. Sometimes I I, um, I won't lie. Like I, I almost feel like just clocking in just to do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do it. For hijinks. Yeah. But yeah, it's just all about time. Yeah, just, just focus in time, uh, other things, you know? No, you got a lot of shit going on. Yeah. yeah. You Thanks, got a lot man. of shit going on. Thanks, man. Hey, yeah, much love. Once a month, we're 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 getting it. We're getting it in. Okay, I need that fucking shrimp blunt clip. Be there on don't Wednesday. worry, Chris. Don't worry. I'm, I'm I film for a living. Like, if you, <laughs> take, if you take a couple hours to get that, you know that that switch crook, twelve feet long, full cab transfer, Dude. whatever. You know, like it's all good. It's all worth it. Beagle. I swear, I, I would. My pleasure. I will be there. No, the thing that sucks about the curbs is like if something is taking you more than you know. 20 minutes you feel so <laughs> defeated dude because it's just this little curb at least you're on the beach dog uh, you're on the fucking beach Venice doesn't beach, get any man. better than that dude and the reason it, it takes so long is you're waiting for people like to go walk by uh, yeah. that's true it's fucking crowded but down there it is you Beautiful said people. you said the last week of oh last wednesday of every month right uh oh yeah, yeah. And that's next yeah. week that's oh <laughs> hey that's why I, I i know i kind of did that on purpose so you guys if you if you want to get shit done out the way already let's get at let's it let's go next hey. wednesday beagle bro. no i know roger's got some shit oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we can handle yep. this he's got joey's some just talking on me I, well, you i'm can't down on joey <laughs> dude la are you talking this man is a professional okay yeah. last time he was down at the beach filming baka he had he was on the phone had one he had one phone like this and another phone filming and rolling <laughs> rolling two, phone? the, two phones yeah. you were on the phone and rolling and dude it was amazing that was me huh yeah, yeah. i remember that i yeah. remember that yeah. you had your yeah, the That's bucket true. hat on you were fucking i was like who is it. this guy man he's who is this magical guy? that's me oh, that's you <laughs> <laughs> thanks man thanks guys no thanks man yeah multi multitask you know yeah. shit shit doesn't stop you know i love it bro. everything keeps moving yeah hey as long as you're having fun doing the shit this yep. is, you're chilling yeah thanks man yeah beagle dude hey thank thanks, you guys. so much for uh stopping thank and you. chatting with us dude it's always a for pleasure sure. yeah. thank you so much man me too me too yeah much love kelly roger chris yeah thanks dude. guys everybody else out there man. thank you yep see you wednesday no lie no lie i'll be there Gumbo will probably be there. Gumbo. Bail gun. Bail yep. gun. Let's get at it. Yep. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Let me, I know we've got to wrap this up, but uh, Goat Mouth. Goat Kill Mouth Gumbo. It. He's been on fire. He's been on fire with the I curbs. Oh, always, man. Always. Yeah. Wow. So Very sick. passionate skater right there for Dude. sure. Yeah. And he's such a hype man and has so much fun. It's just, it It really brings yeah. out the session. It's, it's, it's really I'm so, fun. I'm so glad you guys are all skating together, man. It's rad. I love it. It's sick. Yeah. Just got to get you on the sessions now. Yeah, man. Kelly, you too, man. I hope I see you there Wednesday, man. Uh, you know what? I'll show up Wednesday. I'm going to do Thanks, it. Thanks, man. He just yeah, shows I, up so, for these special appearances yeah. by, by <laughs> other pros, I, and then he's gone. I can, Well, I've been... You've never... You have only been down there like twice, bro. I also have like three, dro four jobs, so I I'm also... I see you doing Oh, right. shit. <laughs> do I need to pull a tree out in order for you to stay? Oh, no. No, I seriously... I, I got something in mind. I got something in mind for right. when I go. So yes, I'll. Damn, is Kelly? You know what? Is Kelly allowed to film on the ledges right there? 
Yeah. Oh, the ledges. The le- yeah. Perfect. Ro- yeah, the ledges. I've, was... I've, I hooked the ledges up so no one wants to get my curbs. All right. Yeah, All right, Roger perfect. hooked the ledges up, man. It's great. Hey, you know what's Damn, fun? Right, word. The, down the street, Six. the OG manual pad from back in the day. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I know you like that one. Yeah. That one's hella fun, but yeah, it's right down the street, bro. I'm down to go there, man. I, I never seen it in person, but I know it's a, a nice low curb for sure, it's, right? It's yeah. fun, dude. It's just super yeah. small, and you just get in that manual, hold it for one second, and you're good. Chris, did you have a, a trick on that in the uh, in the listen video? Yeah. yeah. Nolly Vero Foot what? Manual. Nolly Vero Foot Nolly, Manual. And Nolly uh, uh, Vero Heel Manual also. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, God, <laughs> sick, man. That's rad, dude. Yeah, Beagle oh, knows his shit, OG, dude. Yeah. Yep, Beagle knows his right. shit. OG shit, man. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much for uh, stopping yeah. and chatting with yeah. us, dude. Always, hey, come back and eat when well, the whole thing's over. Come back and chill with us yeah, in, dude, in, the, in the chair. Sick, I'll bring Murdy again, do some dances on the table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs>